You're more tan than me, for a change. It to pink. <gasps> I like that. That's so exciting. <laughs> Hi, friends. Are we live? I think we are. It says we're live. I can't see. I can't check on my phone because it's my channel, so it doesn't show me. Or does it? I nailed my eyebrows for this. Thanks, Kitty. Oh, no, it does show me. Yeah, we're live. Oh, we've already had a wee, a wee troll. And that's nice. What was what was said? What did that? Uh, uh, maybe it wasn't a troll. I don't know. <laughs> Why is she late? <laughs> Fashionably late. Thanks, Emily. So I just thought I'd make an effort since I'm with Daniela. Can someone like tell everyone that we're live? That would be. Joyful. I share it. I'll share it on my Instagram just now, Daniela. Cool. Um, copy link. Just throw it up, and then we'll begin. I'm excited. I don't have to do anything for this live. I just have to do what I'm told. <laughs> if you do what you're told. <laughs> See. <laughs> you need to trust the process. I may have previewed what I'm doing with a few people, and they think that it's bomb, and I'm excited because. I worked my butt off to get this look. Well, we'll see if I like it. Eh? Uh, right, sorry, I'm just sharing it on oh, my Instagram. It just with with the headline you tagged me in, I had to live up to the hype, right? I did think. I thought that was quite a good one. Oh, I did. It's just I feel like you wanted to kick me up the ass with it. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. I'm a professional here, so my face is at your command. Well, you want to, well, are we just going to chat with everyone first or we're going to start? Oh, yeah. Anne Marie, um, Amy's got a 70s themed 18th birthday party tonight. So Anne Marie's being quiet because she, she's doing her hair. That's exciting. Victoria's here. We, I want to see pictures of this. Tiffy, Jen, Jen, how are you? Jen, you were not the first to comment. I've got to say, I thought you would be. Are you cool of reading out the comments to both of us so I'm not having to switch back and forth too much? Cool. So if people have questions, hopefully Missa will reiterate them. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do you know what, Emily? I, put a, I wore a cap earlier when I was out and about with my fake pony and I felt so good with it swishing around behind me. Um. Bujana, right, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Hello. Um, who else is here? Oh, Teresa's here. How's the baby? Louise. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Manuela's here. I'm excited. I, why do I look more tanned than you? Yeah, I know. It's a change, right? But wait until I come see you. I'll be brown as hell. Hi, Kitty. How's it not working? What's the problem? I'm going to quickly get this out of the way. Hi, everyone. I'm, we're glad to be back. I've been unwell the last month and a bit. Still not 100%, but better than I was. No more antibiotics for a while, hopefully. 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 Um, but it feels so nice to be back. And you have no idea how much I've missed makeup. Like, no idea. A month of no makeup, it drove me crazy. So, I'm teaching Miss a her look today. Hi, Alta. Who knows? No. no. <laughs> Annalisa. Yes, uh, as the title suggests, I am being given a masterclass today for free. So, uh... um, also, if any of you have stuff at home or want to replay it and follow along, please send your looks. Because... This is going to be more of a grunge 101, and those who like and enjoy my style and want to do something a little bit more unconventional and fun, this will be a good one. And I had a lot of fun making this one up yesterday. So it's not going to be a pink glittery cover. I'm saying nothing. James in your pants. Ooh. Oh. Hi, James. 
Well, so basically, I'm going to be giving you instructions, colors-wise, application-wise, but um, besides the eyeshadows that we're using, your choice of products that you want to use for your base and eyes and all that is all up to you. Just try and keep to the color tones. So we're going to prime our eyes as normal. Um, what I will be doing with my eyes, though, is I'll be priming them quite straight because I want, like, more... But you've got quite straight brows anyway, so just keep in line with that. But I prime all the way out to my forehead but you pretty much do the same okay. so no biggie hi sylvia do i just use any primer A anything that you like using yeah what works for your carnival so what i'm saying like flexibility wise use what works i'm using a mix of p louise and my mac paint pot in white and i like to mix the two personally but that's just my preference because i have the world's oiliest eyelids and um I really like the paint pot, but I also like how emollient the P. Louise is when it comes to blendability of eyeshadows. So for me, mixing the two works really well. Hi, Ayla. I also blended. I always, I also put some up here, but you don't have to do that because well, I like to do it. And then, yeah. And also, yeah. you want to put a good amount here. Who thinks that I'm going to have an argument with Daniela because I don't want to do what she's telling me to do? Who said that? <laughs> no, I'm saying who's, who thinks there will be an argument. No, there won't be. There might be. Nah, you got to love it. Well, I'm priming with Revlon Candid because it does it for me. I don't think you'd have asked me to do this if you didn't think I could do it. No, I think you can. Absolutely, of course you can. I've seen you teach other people. I just, uh, I've never really done it before, so I'm quite excited to see what happens. Oh, me too. I'm excited to see how this look looks on you, because, um, you know me, my, my, I, what I would say that's different about my style, I think you do similar, though, is that we both utilise lid space. This is the BH Cosmetics number five. It's so good for... Um, blending out concealer or eye primer. I have the same brush, but I'm using a peaches and cream today, just because it was on hand. But you like this brush too, right? I do. I have it there. And Tia really likes it as well. As someone told the sausage groups and stuff that were live. Interesting oh. question as well. Do you own any makeup tape? Bam, bitch. Fantastic, we're gonna need that. We want I also have actually shadow shields that I bought in Primark. I prefer I prefer the tape because then we can angle it quite nice. I was gonna say yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish nice. priming my eyes because I use two primers. But uh, with with the tape, I'll show you in a sec. We want a line like this all the way up into the brow line. So you know, kind of like that. So if you can get some tape and get it all the way up yeah like really winged that'll be perfect thanks Anne Marie. text nina as well will you Anne Marie? this is my makeup tape from premark i what love that tape i use the same tape it's the best is that okay yeah i love that now to get it equal on the other side. Yeah, that's always the fun part. It ain't gonna happen. But what I like to do is I put the P. Louise on first and then I stamp on my paint pot afterwards so it melds into each other. And then after that, I tap it in with my finger as well. I don't actually add a lot of paint pot. It's just to make the base a little stiffer. So do you recommend the MAC white paint pot? Very much so. I got it not that long ago, and I'm really impressed. And you know that look that I did with the purple that I um, took inspiration off you? I use this for the liner as well as my base. And what I really like about it is that it stays tacky, but it dries down enough that um, shadows on top don't lose their colour. So they don't pale too much. So if I put a black on, it still goes on black, even, even on a white base. It's okay, I don't think she's going to give me a mark on my skills. To, are you going to give me up? You better not. I think I've got too much room on one side. 
Don't know if calling your teacher bitch is the way. <laughs> it was like a nice bitch though, like bitch. So if anyone's wondering what we're drinking today, I've got rosé with bubbles that says babe on it and white with bubbles. I've got a can of Coke because James bought me it. Aww. <sighs> I just need to put my tape on. Is your skin on your skin's good, isn't it? All moisturized and ready to go and all that jazz. I well, I put my SPF on earlier before I went out and then I just put moisturizer on a couple of hours ago. What SPF do you use, by the way? I use actually the Fenty one. Fenty one? Yeah. Is it good? I really like it. What's the texture? Is it light or is it thick? It's well, it's invisible moisturizer SPF thirty, and it just feels lovely. It's quite. It's probably medium, like not thin, not thick. Hi, S Cabbage. I love that name. Um, and I like that it's refillable as well, so you just like rebuy the oh, yeah. thing. I do like that, and I think the packaging is cool. Are you gonna tell me what to do with base and stuff? If you want, I was gonna. I was gonna leave it quite. Um, I was gonna leave it quite flexible because. Okay. Because, like, we don't own the same face products, so I was just thinking do what works because we both have different face shapes. But um, if you wanted to pick up some of my tips with my highlighting and stuff, because, you know, the way I highlight is a little different to conventional ways, then we could do stuff like that and just have a bit, a bit play. We've got different skin types too, don't we? Yeah, we do. I can't skin believe you're browner than me today. Right now. <laughs> It's not natural. <laughs> I know, but I've been out in the sun quite a lot. In fact, I'm, I've got heaps of um, horsefly bites from being out. How are they doing? Oh, they're so itchy. They're on my legs, they're on my bum. It's awful. Bum bum bites? I was wearing, hanging baggy, out I was wearing baggy shorts. And I oh. <laughs> oh, no, so they went all the way up there. Oh, they my God. Like bum cheeks. So... And while I'm fixing my tape, tell me the coolest place you want to take me to when I come visit. Well, you've never been to Edinburgh, have you? No. So Edinburgh is a very cool place. So we'll obviously explore Edinburgh with Teresa. Oh, yeah. Um, But I don't know. There's just lots of nice walks around here. Yeah. I thought we'd have a picnic up a hill. I thought we'd have a night at the pub. That sounds nice. Um, I've also got a heap of board games I thought we could play. I am so down for board games. Have a wee board game night. Uh, probably an Edinburgh place will be cool. Hi, Sylvia. You made it. You're only 16 minutes late, but actually we've done nothing yet. <laughs> We're going to... Right, do you have a small but precise blender brush? Oh, that's so disgusting. Are you okay there? Not your brush. <laughs> Honestly, I got these off Nina. They're fantastic. Uh, what about this new one? Or This one's quite skinny and flexible. I've got like that style. That might work. We want to go in the Tahiti. Thank you. I got this in the Bargain Outlet store. Tahiti. Mama. Yeah. Mama. I was trying not to use the carnivals yesterday when I was making this look up, right? Because I wanted to utilize your collection. But every time I tried to do the look with other palettes and then I used the carnivals, it just worked. And I was like, God damn it. Mm. Like, <laughs> you, you know, it doesn't matter how much you try to use something else, you always come back to these. That's right, we could go to Glasgow and see if any other Glasgow sausages want to meet up and maybe have a picnic in the park or something. I'm down for that too. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. We're going to go into the shade Clay. Clay, okay. Yep. All right. Fine. And the area just under your brow here, we're going to bonk it right there like this. Is that the professional word? Look, yeah, it is. I'm gonna make it. I'm, I'm gonna make it a thing. Okay. 
we're going to apply it blend it in i go right into the brow with this but not above yet because we'll be blending another color above there which is why we put extra primer down that is such a beautiful color yeah i'm gonna match both sides first before i go into the next shade hi miranda yeah that would be really cool teresa we could what's teresa saying uh, it's teresa it's glasgow teresa um, about doing the picnic in Glasgow. I'd love that. Glasgow is a lovely city as well. I think Edinburgh's prettier, but Glasgow's more fun. Do you have a second one of these brushes or a colour switch? Because I'm colour switching mine. I've got a million brushes, though. Oh, yeah. Me, it's just um, I'm getting a second set of these soon, so I want to keep using this brush for this look. But, yeah. If you see the shape, it goes from like a little bit of your brow almost down into the nose if you see that kind of shape I've got going on at the minute. I need to use this colour more. It's such a bomb colour. It's it's probably the one I'll end up hitting pan on in this palette. You see, I never start by putting eyeshadow here. I always start outside, don't I? I do both. Um, I, like, even though I'm a pro, I am unconventional with my methods and... I think that's kind of part of the play process. So, colour switch or switch to a new brush, and we're going to go into bamboo, which is... I can use my wee makeup towel and just wipe it on it. Yeah, that also works. Well, I'm, I'm wiping it on my jogger leg, so... <laughs> Where is Elena? Where is Teresa? Where is Tia? I Why is my phone not charging? Oh, bamboo, I love bamboo. Oh. Get back up here, sir. If your phone dies, I am not carrying this loop on without you. Oh no, it's not gonna die. It's just my bloody charger's being a pain. Hi, Chavi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry. There we go, it's charging. I'd love to heat you right now, Laurie. Hi, Maria. Not. There we go. So we're gonna go into bamboo? Yeah. And we're going to continue that almost to the end of the brow and conjoining into clay. Thank you, Anne-Marie. And if you look, I'm creating almost almost like a diagonal line under my brow and into my brow. I'm not bothered about it going in my brows. I don't mind eyeshadow in my brows. That's cool. As long as, you know. Well, it will look bomb at the end, trust me. Wow, these I would never put these colours together straight off the bat, I don't think. But I think they blend nice together. Yeah, they do. They're beautiful. You know me, I'll tell you if I think it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really I really thought this through. I, you know, I've included blues, pinks, mustards, greens, like everything. I've really thought of it all. And noir. And lots of shimmer. If, um, if people don't know, Danielle is coming to stay with me for a few days in like two weeks. And we're going to film videos together. We're going to blog it. We're going to be out and about. I'm so excited. Yeah. And um, then I'm out. I'm going to colour switch it. again. Oh, for goodness sake. Let me know when you're ready. I'm going to do a video doing Danielle's makeup. I want to see that. And you want to use cream products on me. And I just can't wait to see them not work. Yeah, I can't wait to see them. You'll be just like, off. why is this not working? <laughs> oh, We're going to go back into clay. And continue the diagonal line onto a point where the tape ends, you see. Right, well, that's impossible for the angle I've done. Oh, you need to lift it higher. Yeah, much cool. higher. It you won't take much. long to fix that. Right, I don't know if I should... Right, hold on. So it's going to have to be more like that. Yeah, a little higher. That works. Right. I mean, mine's kind of out and up, if that makes sense. We also have quite different eye shapes, eh? Yeah. Right. Come on. This is uh, definitely not a traditional Melissa look at this point, is it? Well, that was the point of doing this. I know. I'm just, uh, I'm quite proud of myself for... Uh, Stepping out the old comfort zone. Oh yeah. 
It'll be worth it though. It's dead fun, this work. I've just hit pan on clay. No. Yeah. I don't think I'm far away. I did a hit pan on the other day and I could have cried. Oh, it was something great. Anyway. I hit pan on ecstasy. That's my favourite one. Right, let me just see what kind of brush I need. Because it'll be like another brush like that, but maybe a bit more rounded. I might switch the brush I was using up yesterday to get more colour payoff. Oh, uh, that will work. So now, let me know when you're ready. I'm not usually the slow one, am I? It's because you're doing something that's not you're not coming up with in your own head. So I just wanted to add a wee bit more bamboo on because I felt like I lost a bit of it. I like how I'm just like quick and messy with it, but that's because that's grunge. <laughs> yeah. Already. Look at that wing already, though. Like it's so fierce, and even though it goes into there, when you look like that, it just, it's just kind of it's so it's like aggressive in the best way. I love it. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna open up our nebula palette. I thought you were saying something else there. Okay. I know. I thought you were gonna say like, now we're gonna open up to each other. We're gonna, you know, <laughs> all right. Nebula. I'll put my brightness up on my phone a bit more. There we go. We're gonna go what, into what voice. Brush? What brush? Oh, something like a packer, but a little more fluffy. I like this one. Cool. We're gonna go into. Yeah, we're gonna go into void. I keep forgetting which one's darker. So. <laughs> oh, void is sick. I'm loading my brush up. Yeah. And I'm going to start along the bottom where the tape is, bring it up into the wing. Stamp that colour on and start creating a wing with it underneath, but trying not too hard to touch the top two, but you can get as close as you like. So I'm going to go to about here with the blue and then fill it in. Okay. Really pack that on nice and dark because I made a mistake yesterday of not getting it dark enough. Oh, I can't get over the quality of these nebula mats. Well, that's a palette I wanted you to use more because it's so good, and it plays well with it plays really well with the carnival, so it, it pairs nicely. Thanks, Lorraine. This is quite a different thing for me. Let's see, uh, see how well Daniela can make me look. Although, for everyone who doesn't know, her name's actually Pac Man. <laughs> it's from Unicorn Cosmetics. They sent it to me. Was it yesterday or the day before? It's so pretty, isn't it? My, one of my wings might be slightly longer than the other, but I'm not too bothered by that. Do you know what we do? We take our photos from the side. From the side, yep. <laughs> We're professional. Well, you are. You are as well. You wouldn't have a YouTube channel if you wasn't. Oh, I just do it for fun. Your makeup game's amazing. Why do you think I work so hard on this look? How is that? I love it. I'm going to get another brush like this and keep that one aside because we might have to go back in with it. I did, I did, Emily, yes. Gonna and we're going to go into Queen of Blades. Yeah. And continue this, I'm going to stamp on the shape that I want, to about there with Queen of Blades and blend that into the blue and bring it down as well. So like leave the first third? Yeah, so in threes. And then I'll pick another colour for the inner corner. 
I vote pink. <laughs> See, I knew, I knew this was coming and it will be worth the wait. <laughs> My friend Jim's here, feels so special. None of you know Jim, because she's cool. Right. Oh, maybe I didn't bring the blue in far enough. Just add more to Like, honestly, it's fine. Just have a bit of creative flair with it. I might have to... Actually, no, I quite like where the blue is. I'll add a little more up there just to make it a bit tidier here. Not too much. Usually I diffuse shades into each other, but I'm going all in with this one. Is this look yeah. suitable for hooded eyes? I would say yes, because of us bringing the shadow in and up, you're giving yourself more lid space. And once you'll see what I'll do later with the lids and stuff, it will make more sense. So you could definitely work it into a more hooded lid situation, if that makes sense. Look at the fallout, because I'm just packing it on. <laughs> These shadows, man, you just they're just unbeatable though. They're nutty. Anne Marie got me this palette and Nina. I'm glad you got it, because I was sad of you missing out on this one, because it's it's special. You're special. I would say this palette is probably palette of the year for me. Novena Volume 5. Novena Volume 5 is one of them, but I think the versatility, the Nebula, also because it's an indie brand. Like, it's just, there's not a lot of stuff I have that is this quality, this blendable. Because the one thing I will say about the Novena 5, because I've got the one as well, is I wish there was a black in it and I wish there was a deeper purple. Definitely needs a black, yeah. But I think every palette in the world should have a black. I'm with you on that, and I 100% agree with you on that. <laughs> you like warrior stripes. I think it looks quite cool. We're going to go back into the Tahiti. Yeah. And we're going to go into Lagoon. Lagoon. That is... Oh, the blue. Yeah. Cordon bleu. And that, and guess where that's going? At my bum. Precisely. Knew it. Um, I'm leaving. I'm also going to leave a tiny bit of in a corner because I'm going to like tuck in a little bit of reef next to it as well. Right. I think you've got more eye space than I do, huh? No, oh, you've got plenty. Just a uh, half and half it if you can. such a pretty blue i know i love this blue i initially went with the club nebula blue but i think this one's more fitting for the look i'm doing so you excited to see the new carnival yeah Let me grab a teeny brush i'm just gonna get a little rounded brush and then just tuck reef in on the edges It doesn't have to be like loads, it's just a little bit, just to add a little something to you. Just a wee pinch. Yeah. Hi Heather, hi Kim. Just right on the inner, inner part. Yeah. Okay. Reef is a very pretty shade. When I first did this look, I was saying this eye look by itself is a look by itself without even having to do lots yet. But no, it's going to have a twist to it soon. <laughs> Hi, Leanne. Oh, gosh. You see where my eyes crease? I've not put eyeshadow in that spot. Hold on. That's fine. Take your time. A wee rookie mistake, eh? Once you're done, we're going to open the XL Pro. I need to take my shoes off. My feet are like melting. Hi, Kim and Rab. Rab and 
I'm sorry that she's making you watch this while well, you're supposed to be having some pints. Oh, I'm so warm. I'm having rosé, Kim. I like. I really like this look so far. I was thinking of recreating this in the future with just this, but blending them into each other more. But we're gonna make it even more pizzazzy. So yours is a bit more up. I would say mine's more straight. Well, yours is good because it's parallel with your brows that so works. Okay, if you're sure. Well, yeah, because when we do a thin thing later, you can make it more edgy. So don't worry about that. We're gonna go into. Do you have a little pencil fluffy brush like this, a little bigger one? Mm, I've got many, many. You want to make sure it's got a nice little point on it almost, so you're not putting too much shadow on in, because we're going to be doing little circular motions with it. <laughs> what about just my wee M507? Well, I'm going to show you what I'll do, and if you can make it work, you can use that. I'm going to be going into ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be blending the wings and all this all the way down, creating like a middle color between these two. As you can see, all the way along with ecstasy. Oh, golly gosh. Yep. It's a lot of back and forth. Okay. And what this will do, because it's a grunge look, like with grunge looks, sharp lines are good, but not too many. You kind of want bold, but also soft. And this will give a color in between and soften the look. So I've got quite a harsh line where my blue is. Well, no, that's why I'm blending it. I'm blending the harsh line away. I'm not, though. It's not working. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. You're going up. Well, I'm giving you a 101 here. Pile your brush up. Yeah. <gasps> I've just stamp hit on ecstasy. I have ages ago. <laughs> but no, you want to stamp it along and you want to do tiny little blendy motions like this, little ones, rather than wider. Like almost as if you're packing and blending the colour into the skin. And you want to keep your brush on your skin the whole time rather than lifting it off. I do pay attention. <laughs> Words. No, no, no. It's it's a good technique. It works. I feel like yours is all looking more pigmented than mine. Is anyone at home copying this look as well? Like right now. I'm currently eating a mullet corner, but mullets are back. Mullet corner? I'm just laughing at the yogurt conversation going on. There's always a food conversation. Yeah. It's part of the charm. Right, I don't understand how you're managing to blend out that dark blue with this light green because it's just not happening. Could it be your base? Well, yeah, probably. It's too bloody late now. Imagine we had to wipe this off and start again, I would cry. You don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. Plus, um, when I do the thing in a bit, you, you know, the, the whole middle section, you don't, you know how you do the thing, uh, we work similar where we put colour on where we want it and then we add stuff and then add to it later. Yeah. So don't worry too much about, I'm going to give you a little hint here, about this section. We'll be using, we'll be kind of cutting the crease, but doing it in a more non-traditional way in a bit. If you can maybe concentrate it from mid-brow upwards, that wing part, just try and get the green on there, you'll be able to work that fine. This is definitely not blending. Even if you just stamp it on and leave it instead of rubbing yeah. it in like that. That's what I'm thinking to try. Yeah. I'm going to bring my base and see if it, when I come over, and see if it ups your blending game with the with the mix that I make. All right. I mean, so, if, any help is appreciated. Yeah, see if it makes a difference. Oh, gosh. I like these colours. Oh, me too. They're fun. 
And I really, like, you know me, my style is dual toned with neons. So I feel like this is a very, like, I think the upper eye is going to be very Daniela and the under eye is going to be very you. And the shimmers is going to be both of us. <laughs> Well, we both love a shim shim. Yeah, we do. Which is the technical term, if you're wondering. Mm. I'm just trying to blend this wing. It's not stressful at all. You've got this. I mean, I have a similar issue with bamboo disappearing on me a little bit, but I didn't. I tried using the green in the Mitchell, and it, it it's very muddy. So I think keeping it lighter will help later on. So it's not a big deal. Oh, we all love a shim shim, Raffiana. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do crazy makeup for the gig, hundred percent. We're probably oh, gonna yeah. get up at like four a.m. so we can do wicked makeup because it starts at eleven. And I'm gonna be so hyper for it because when I'm excited, I'm like, a, I'm like a Duracell bunny. I'm just like, woo! <laughs> I just wonder how I'm gonna cope with having a few drinks at like seven in the morning. <laughs> I'm so excited. Though. Well, we could always do like. What I like to do is do a couple shots, wait a few hours and add more shots rather than drink, 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 because you end up needing a lot of toilet time. That's a really good idea. Uh, I'm good drink. I'm good at drinking. <laughs> I just haven't in a while, so it's probably going to destroy me, but it also makes me a cheap date. What's not to love? This is why me and Daniela have booked an extra night in the hotel. It's just so we can get a wee bit wallied. And not worry about the drive home. Look at how this looks so far, though. Do you see yours? No, that looks fine. Like, look at mine. Like, mine's not perfect either, but it's kind of part of the vibe. I wouldn't stress too much. I think you've done a good job. I mean, I've tried. Hi, Christina! We'll go in with some noir now before we cut the crease. It's just a, just a regular blending brush. You just want to do. Oh, I'll, I'll grab a brush and show you. You just want to enhance the outer portion, the outer V, smoke it out a little bit. I think it's August, Raffiana, but I'm not sure the exact date. So just... I bring it up the wing a little bit, but not too much, because obviously we want the wing to be majority blue. But look at the difference that makes. Just love. I love Noah. I'm glad you introduced it to me. I'm very in love with it. <laughs> if um if these are your jam and these are like palettes that you only use, you probably won't like Carnival Four. There's my tip. My hint. Hi Lulu. Long time no see. Okay, so just deepen up the outer V. Yeah, and I bring it up along the wing a little bit too, but just softly. I, I, I Out of V, quite a bit of black. Um, all the way out the wing, just soft. Okay. I'll do my best. Hi, Paula. Hi, Tess. Testicles has arrived. Kimberly's here. Yay, people are joining. Paula. How much is this a vibe by itself, though, already? I can't wait for the shim shim, though. Oh, you're going to love that part. Are we doing our live next week with Kerry? I think we should. It we depends on if Kerry has Saturday free, though. Oh, that's right. We'll see what she's doing. But I'm ready to take my peel off, so I'm going to peel mine off. Wait, do it slowly. Oh. Sensuous. Actually, they're not that uneven. I thought they'd be more, but they're not. Cool. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to wipe and clean up, and then we'll work on the crease. I'm just adding 
a little bit more black. I'm just using natural light, so I hope it's not too bad. Will you definitely take photos of this look after so I can see how it looks? Nope, I will not promise anything when it comes to photos. You know me too well, Daniela. If I throw a tantrum, it will not be photographed. Well, you've been fine so far. Oh, this looks fun so far. I really like this so far. Isn't it intense? I quite like my fall light. You like your uh, warrior stripes? It's even on my fall It does stain that blue though, so... <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! Right. I'm just gonna grab... Where's the right bloody brush? There it is. It's like seventies wallpaper. <laughs> Look how fierce that angle is, though, and how sharp that line is. Right. Well, now I need to get this blue off before it goes stains. It's like when I did my uh, England flag on my face yesterday with face paints. It, the red, <laughs> the red would not come off. It was so stressful. <laughs> was Greg laughing? Yeah, because he did <laughs> the flag. But he made me paint on him. Thank you, Judy. Oh, I just heard my, vin my video's finished exporting. Ooh, what, the, what noise does it make? Ba -ding! Oh, nice. I might actually grab a smaller brush to do this. You know what? The yeah. angles are not that off. No, they're quite good. I like how yours is a little different though, because you're quite you're quite clean with your work, and it it shows, and it's really cool. And we're going to be adding yellow to the base anyway, so you'll be spicing it up later as we go. Get some spice. I'm just going to find the right brush because that one's too thick for what I want. I want a more. Uh, what's your most precise cut creasing brush? Because we're going to do quite a nice line with it. Mm, I've got tiny, 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 tiny brush. Or my favourite black canvas one. I'm going to use, uh, I've got Royal and Magnacle paint brushes too, so... Yeah, I'm going to go in with that because I like the fact that it has a, like a slightly flat edge, but it's still thin. I'm going to load up my... I'm going to use a P. Louise, but you can use whatever you want. Well, I've only got a pink or green P. Louise, but I've got a, I can use the Makeup Revolution one. Yeah, go for that. Is it quite pale on? Yeah. Cool, that's fine then. Right, before you do a crease cut, I'm going to show you the shape we're doing, because this is where it gets different. Now, obviously, everyone's eyes is different in shape, but um, the way to do this correctly is I generally start here, and I like to go a diagonal line into almost the middle of my brow, and this is what we're doing. Right. And we're going to put just a little bit on. We're going to stretch it across just a bit, of, up to about... Up to about here. Yeah, we're going to do that. And you tell me when you've done that. That's fine. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's different, but it will look banging, I promise. Oh, gosh. I'm going to put you in the girliest, most dewy skin, creamy, pink makeup you've ever seen when you come. And then what you want to do is use your fingers and tap out the edge into the eyeshadow. Just this edge. Right, well done, well done. I'm just showing you how far you need to stretch it so you can see. It's for reference. Not 
a little different to yours. No, but it's it is parallel to your wing, so it's not incorrect. You see, when I turn my head, look at the angle of my wing and my cut crease. Yours matches yours as well, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And when you stretch it across, it will pull it. I think you're being too generous, but okay. You've never done this before. I'm not being too generous. You've got this. I'm very. I'm a very patient teacher. T-shirt, teacher, t-shirt. <laughs> you have patient t-shirts. I have a patient t-shirt. Lovely. I'm going to move the other eye while you work on those, and then we'll do the shims. The shim shims. Oh yeah. Is there any gems for Jen? There isn't, but if we want to add some at the end, I'm not against it. Because I was thinking more grunge, so I didn't really think gems, but I'm not against gems if you want to add them. I was also going to ask you to do freckles, because I can't do freckles as I don't have freckle products, but I'd love to see you with freckles on with a look. Love me a full freckle. Yeah, I know you do. That's why I wanted to add it. I know you'd suit it. I remember I went on a date with someone once, and then on our second date, he was like, you always had freckles. <laughs> I was like, That's quite yeah. funny. Obviously, I've always had freckles. <laughs> oh. I just love my ear cuffs, but they make my ears so sore. They do hurt, don't they? I used yeah. to wear mine all the time, but they would literally make my ears feel like they're burning. Yeah. It's just yeah. a cheap metal. <laughs> so now I have to try and even this up. I like how mine aren't fully even, and I'm just like, man, I'm not bothered. <laughs> just going to add just a little more brightness here, because I regretted not doing that the other day. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. But yeah, you want it like faded into the shadow, if you can see there. Like, that's why I use my fingers. Tapping it out works a treat. And when you're ready, we're going to need Mercury Retrograde. Well, we ain't bloody ready, are we? I've got one on and it looks very different to yours. It looks good. No, it doesn't. Why does yours look so diffused at the front and mine's like a white line? Because I've got my finger and I tapped the edge, the edge I haven't touched. I've tapped the bloody edge, but the front of it is like... Bullshit. Don't worry about the front of it. The shims are going to go on top. You're not going to see it. Right, okay. I'll trust you. Yeah. It's also because I put mine on quite thin because Louise does change depending on what the base is underneath. Don't worry, guys, we're not arguing. <laughs> Yet. Well, it's good I'm as chill as chill can be with these things. You could scream at me and I'll be like, yes, okay, are you all right? <laughs> No, I've really cocked that up. Show me what's up. No, I've just done a completely different. Look at that! It's bloody straight, and this one's. Don't even look at me. Nobody <laughs> look at me. I'm gonna have to straighten this one now. Fudge. Fudge. I'm trying not to swear. Look, I'm sorry, but I have to even up. Everyone's this. telling you to trust the process. We've got this. Oh, just the process. I don't trust my blooming self to be able to If you've made it straighter at the bottom, just bring it in a little more towards the brow here, even if it's got a slight curve. And what, what you want to do, you know where the concealer is up here? Just drag it across a little bit under the brow and it'll make it look wider there. I don't think it can be rectified, Daniela, to be honest. Big cock up, but whatever. It's only makeup. So far, there's no photo being taken of this, unless you can convince me otherwise. Right. Finger myself. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm actually having a bloody meltdown here. I'm like on live. No, look. Pull the mirror down and look at me and I'll see what I can no! do with you. 
No, trust me. Right, your angles are fine. What you want to do, if you look at me, just because I had to do something similar on this eye when it went a bit askew, is you want to grab and you just want to drag it in a little more and add to your eyelid here. So it's still diagonal, but you just dragged it. Because as you can see, mine's past my eye when I come closer. So that way you still get more of a diagonal shape. It doesn't look as straight. That's why teeny weeny brushes help though. If you use the big brush, it would have gone nuts. I used the teeny, I used the teeniest. But that's what I'm saying. If you used a bigger brush, it would have been worse. Look at him. Yeah, it's a good brush. You did a good you did a good job with the brush choice. I think you're panicking too much. I like the shape. I would tell you if I didn't. Because you know I'd have throw a tantrum if I had to wipe it off and start again. You don't have to wipe it off and start again. Do you see pulling it in the middle a bit there? It's given it much more edge now. You're fine. You've rectified it. Right. I think I've done all I can do. Without... I like that. Well, I don't. But anyway, nobody look at me. Can everyone just look at Daniela, please? You want the Mercury retrograde. Love that palette. Look, all my favorite, pa all the palettes you've asked me to use, they've all been stacked in my wee favorite palette shelf. <sighs> We're gonna go into two shimmers here and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing first and then you can follow it after. So we're gonna go into the shade Mercury, the blue. And we're gonna put that on the middle here and drag it up a little bit. Ooh. You see how I'm leaving the inner corner kind of bare for now. But then I'm going to go into ultraviolet right. on another finger and put that straight above and up into the brow where this line joins and kind of so one after the other. And this is what it creates. Oh. Were you tempted in any way to use Kill Me More? I was. I had it aside, but um, I was thinking that... Uh, I was going to try and keep it as palette as possible. Because mm -hmm. I know Tell Me More is not really easy to get anymore. Am I pulling the purple all the way up to the purple? Oh, yeah, look. Mine's all the way up and in. Right. If anyone wants to do a makeup call with Daniela, uh, message her on Instagram. She doesn't charge much and she'll teach you how to do your makeup. Yep, and I include it as part of my Patreon as well. A lot of my Patreons call me. We have makeup calls often. Not recently because I've not been the most well, but I'm going to start them up again for Blast, and it's going to be really fun. But yeah, join her Patreon, and she'll actually teach you, especially if you like grungy makeup. Well, you know, if you want me to do a certain style, I can do it. It's just this is what I like best. Yeah, but this is like your signature. Oh, how stunning is that blue colour? I love it so much. What made you get the Mercury Retrograde? I wanted it for ages, and I really like... I know the shimmers in it are beautiful as well, but um, I'm always drawn... Hold on, I'm going to open mine. To these kinds of colours, like these blues, these kind of burnt oranges, uh, coppers, and that kind of silvery silvery shadow there like i love the whole thing and i don't use it enough laurie if you're that worried about it i'll do it with you so i'll come on with you each of you and i'll just fanny about in the corner and get drunk and make jokes right did you do i need to take my colors closer to that wine though no we want to get a little brush like this a little flat brush right i've got flat brushes Somewhere. Itty bitty baby one. Itty bitty baby. Do you know what? I really like this little dress up one from that set you made me get. The one eight. This tiny wee. I love that brush too. It's also oh, really nice. good for under eye smudging. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go into Firefly from the Nebula. Right. Top left. Ooh. And we're oh. going to stroke that along the line. 
along this whole inner section here and join it into the blue. And it creates like a bit of a look at the brightness it gives in that inner corner. So we fingered and now we're stroking. Great. Ah, oh, what a shade. What a shade. I bring it up to about where the green ends here, not all the way up because I like the purple to have its moment. Do I, need, I need to bring that purple closer to that line then, I think. Oh! Yeah, do it, Nora. Her links are in my description box. She's amazing. Clearly. She's actually like a trained professional, so. Girl knows what she's doing. Oh! Dang yellow, these colours together. They are tickling my pickle. Are you cheering up a little bit now? Well, I mean, I'm still not happy with my line, but I'll live with it. But the shimmers make up for it, right? Oh! Look at it, though! Ours looks so different. <laughs> no, but the thing is, you've never done this kind of look before. Like, give yourself some credit. You're beating yourself up way too much here. I, I love your version, and I don't think anyone is a carbon copy, like, ever, and I like that. I'm just going to go in with a little more purple up here. I want a little more. Like, some of the looks you do, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do. Bollocks. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. Is that a bad word? No. I like it. I've got a, a nice shadow moustache. I think I've got eyeshadow in my uh, cleavage at this point. I'm just putting a bit more purple on. I think I lost it a little bit. Okay. Trust in the process, lads. Let's see it so far. And I'll see if I can give any pointers. Come a little closer. I really like that. You've got good brightness in the inner corners. I would use my fingers and maybe tap the blue into the green a little more, just to soften soften it a little bit. My fingers are too fat, so I will try this small brush. That works. Oh, my fingers are too fat to fit in that gap. Oh, you see that firefly in a shimmery blue? That is like what dreams are made of. Oh, right. I'm loving this so far. Yours looks really pretty, though. I really like yours. And it's like, the, the reason why this diagonal vibe works, because it extends your eye shape, gives you a spotlight, and highlights your brow all in one go. Daniela should do Missa, and Missa should do me, and I should do Daniela. Oh, oh with, the, with makeup, I hope. I don't think she means that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not single anymore, Tess. <laughs> 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 I'm taken. So I am going to clean up under here and leave it. Do you want to do the graphic liner now or right at the end? Uh, excuse me, this is your life. I'm trying to be a good teacher. Well, what we're going to do then? We'll get. Can I just have a fag break? <laughs> am I stressing you out that much? <laughs> If I had cigarettes in the house, I would have one. Which I don't, because I don't smoke anymore. Well, I'll show you what I'm quickly doing. You want the teeniest liner brush ever, because I do think the Be Perfect lipsticks are a little bit on the thicker side. Yeah. But I know your lines are quite clean, so I wouldn't worry I've, too much. I've got teeny brushes, don't you worry. Yeah, but basically, you know, this whole line here, we're just going to outline it in yellow. So go from here all the way up, just the one line, and I'd go over it a couple of times. Right. Just because it it's has, not, it not as opaque as I'd like. Yeah, I'm using it be perfect because you've got it as well. So. Because I do have like this like sheen neon one. 
I'll use the Be Perfect. So I'm similar to you. It's basically this. And just go over it a couple of times. I mean, my line here isn't the sharpest. I am a little shaky. I have a lot of caffeine in me. But um, <laughs> but um, um, I like that because it like adds even more highlight. Because if you see, like the inner portion of the brow is quite dark, so it separates it more. Oh, thank you, Anne Marie. Uh, tell me, we're not using this on the lips. No, we're not. Thank we're going to go. We're going to go for the beigeiest porn star lips ever. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any chocolatey brown liners and do you still have Stand by Dose of Colors? Yes. That's what we're going to be going for. Okay. Because the eyes talk a lot, so nude lip is needed. I tried baby poo lips with this and it didn't work as well. God damn, I keep getting makeup on my chin. I've got mm. it all over my nose. <laughs> right, just talk amongst yourselves, please, because this I need to concentrate. Oh, Tia yesterday in her life, she's like, you now guys have to entertain yourselves. And I love Tessa's response. She's like, you can't leave us unsupervised. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the conversation did get dirty all of a sudden, didn't it? And then we all tried to say you said orange. <laughs> Disgust with me. <laughs> I was wheezing. Oh, I've booped it up. It's fine. Mine's not the best. I just go over it a couple of times. No, that's so bright. I love that. It's looking brighter than yours for some reason. I don't mind super thin, but I layer mine because the, my brush isn't thin enough. Yeah. So I have to go bit by bit with it. I just feel like I've made a wee chunk of it there and I don't like it. I don't know where I've put my... You know the nail brushes I use for my eye art? I'm not sure where I've put them, so I'm using a thicker one so I'm going with a very light hand. Nina's here. Yay, Nina. Nina's my makeup mommy. Nina's my makeup dealer. And one of my besties as well. If any of you need American makeup, hard to get makeup, Nina has a WhatsApp group where she buys wholesale from America, like ColourPop, Julia's Place, Glamlight, all the hard brands, and then she sells them for, like, not a big markup, so. Are we going to do a live together, both using only the Glamlight? Oh, that's a good idea. I think we should. I still really want to get my hands on the Flower Punk as well. Was that limited edition? It might have been, but I have one, so if needs be, I'll bring mine up for you to have a play with I saw uh, Kelly's in person and I was just like, oh, beautiful. I bet you love the yellow in it as well. That's my favourite shade. It's so, such a like a, a dirty yellow. I love it. Like an acidy, radioactive yellow. Just a sex yellow. Not sexy, a sex yellow. Like a sex foil. Oh yeah, that name. I love that. From Melt. Crunchy. <laughs> oh my goodness, neon liners make everything look cool. They do. I mean, mine looks like a bag of dicks, but... Well, if I was going to do a look, I'm not going to do something useful. Because then that would be cheating. Nora, um, Nina. Do you want? Was, do you want? Sweden. Sorry. Sorry, everyone's now inquiring about Nina's WhatsApp group. <laughs> I think she. Nina, get your link right, and post it in the chat. <laughs> um, Nina, can you put your WhatsApp number in the chat or or not? You're getting a few inquiries. Okay. What are you doing? Are you cleaning up? Yeah, I've just got random bits of shadow all over my face, so... I'll take it off my nose then. I was using it as a bit of a fashion statement, but... <laughs> oh. 
Have I been a bad teacher so far? Awful. Would not recommend. One out of ten. <laughs> Yeah, Hi Deborah. Welcome <clears throat> to the SH1T show, as Elena said. What a cow, can't believe she's neon here. Oh! I love that neon yellow. It just adds, doesn't it? Right? I mean, my lines are now so obviously different, but from the side. You can't tell. tell. So you can't really <laughs> tell. Mine are different. Look, mine are not even. Mine goes further in on this side than that side. Oh, it's even to me, so. Well, I was going to say, if you wanted your tab break, we'll do base afterwards. I didn't know if you needed it. Oh, you've got it. You're right then. Well, uh, are you wanting to do... Oh, I've got loads of shadow on my hands. That's how I've been getting makeup on my chin. Right. So... Are we doing base now? base first because i do the way i do things is upper eye base under eye because when i do grunge i go so heavy under the eyes it's good to put face down first and i wouldn't worry too much about concealer under the eyes because we're going to go heavy under the okay. eyes well, so I wet my sponge yeah we only have one color drain sponge left because the boys ate some of them <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are now being reformed. <laughs> They're not. I'm just kidding. I love them with my whole heart. Thank you, Ida. Uh, Nina's got you a gift. What? Uh, all of the chats are saying you're ignoring the chat because Nina got you a gift. What gift? I'm just priming my face. You know, Missa doesn't believe in primers, but I love mine. I use my Too Faced Hangover. I like it because it's silicone free. My skin's quite problematic, so it helps. I wish foundation sat on me normally but it doesn't so i don't use too much either Hi, Matty. The flower. Nina's got you the flower punk. What? Yeah. So I was trying to find my babies to give you a moment to see them. Which baby's this? Let me Come see your face properly. Come on, Daniela, which baby's this? That one's sausage. You're wrong! Am I wrong again? Look how he's been fine with me holding him. Okay, now he's being a dick. Ooh, baby. Do baby. I like how you had to look at his face to see if I got it right or no, wrong. No, I had to look at his chest. <laughs> <laughs> you go down there. Okay. He must have can't recognise her own cats. <laughs> See, like that's what the same cat. <laughs> so you you said I'll know the difference more when I meet them. Yeah. Oh, saucy. Like I know when one's fighting you, which one it is. Yeah. Oh, Teresa's here. Yay, Teresa. Nina guessed right. It's potato. Potato. Emily guessed it right. Chloe guessed it right. You're all my best friends because. Obviously, Danielle's not because she can't tell my cats apart. Don't attack me. <laughs> You're in a box this big on my phone. I'm actually going to prime. I overheard you uh, dirt talking right there. I'm going to use Benefit Professional. I like it these days. 
Oh, I do. <laughs> Look at the eyeshadow on my forehead that I just rubbed. <laughs> Is it better when you're really hot for primer? I just, I find it very smoothing. They are good boys, aren't they? I wasn't dirt talking. You don't like primer. You're not usually a primer person. No. I have difficult it. skin, so I have to. It's just... Eyeshadow on my forehead. Elena would be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I still really swear by my Hylomide HA blur for my forehead for filling in my wrinkles should I stay pale and use a pale foundation or should I catfish my tan and match us pale pale and interesting darling <laughs> oh I was hoping you'd pick the other option <laughs> should she go pale or should she go trump should she go with her own skin colour or should she go Trump? I'm actually going to go a wee bit darker than I am because I want to use my NARS foundation. This one. Pale. That's only one vote. <laughs> no! Stop saying pale! Tan. Pale. Sarah Smith. We're not reading her comments. Hi, uh, Sarah says hi, Daniela. Hi, Sarah. Pale, you're honestly, you're getting more pills. I'm sorry. Oh. It's just the way it is. You guys hate me, I swear to God. I mean, you shouldn't have given us the option. <sighs> I'm going to stick with my Dior because it works. I've actually got the sun recently, so my usual foundations are a wee bit pale on me. Oh, you are getting a few tans, but it's Nicole Hammond and she's putting all the tans in herself. So I think she's got an, alt an, an alter ego. Well, what I will do is I'll just use tons of bronzer and orange blush instead. So I'll bronze it up anyway. Just go with the skin colour God gave you. Nina says somewhere in the middle. Thank you, Nina. One person. No, you're getting a few tans. You've just had more pills. Just you wait till I come see you. I'm going to get such a spray tan. Me or Nina? Me. I'm going to get a bomb spray tan. I mean, when you come to see me. pale foundation. It makes my skin look ill. Look at that. Ugh. It just makes you look like a human being, Daniela. Giving me a complex thinking. I need to have a tan. No, it's just my skin. Like because I have a lot of redness, if I use a pale cover up, it doesn't cover it. Deborah says go Trump. <laughs> oh, or she's laughing at me calling you Trump. I can't say. Oh, I feel gross. I really hate this. It's, just, it's like the total opposite of what I ever do. And I, I really go, go tan then, do what makes you feel comfortable. Oh no, because I've got to please everyone. No, you don't. How have you cared about pleasing everyone? <laughs> I know. Just That's don't. Me. I don't feel normal at all. This doesn't look. It makes me look sickly. It is actually paler than my own skin tone. Well, so it's... Put a deeper one on. Don't torture yourself. Tan and tasty, not pale and pasty. Thank you. You're just supposed to be Trump. I am fine with looking more Trump. I quite like being pale and interesting. Oh, now Anne-Marie says more tan. You're the first person to say pale. I swear to God. We just like to punish you for some reason. <laughs> there, this is more normal. I'm just going to blend it into this one. Yeah, just do what makes you feel comfortable. Else you won't be happy with it, and then you'll not take yeah, I might have to wipe it off and start again, because that pale one is horrible. I hate it. Wipe it off and start again. It won't take me long to build that up. There we go. Poor Anne-Marie, I'm sending her that Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser that I used. So I'm hoping that she gets tangled next. <laughs> Teresa's a 17th century Victorian ghost. <laughs> She's the palest of them all. 
Mirror, Ooh, mirror. So warm. Oh, Everything's warm. melting. Can you stop licking yourself? It sounds a bit weird. Can you hear them? It sounds like someone is eating a bowl of chili in the corner. <laughs> That's funny. And I'm going to blend it down my neck as well. And what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of pail on top and blend it in just so have a bit in between. And how beautiful is that NARS? Wow. Wait until you try my Dior. You will change your mind immediately. Someone's selling a bottle of Dior in the, the saucers, but I'm just going to... Is it the one that I use? Um, Does sure. it look like this? No. Yeah, that's not the one you want then. That is the tits. Wow. I love it. <laughs> Kim, if you're still watching, I'm going to use concealer. I know you said not much, but I'm going to put a bit on. So it makes me yeah, if you want to put a bit on. Because what I was going to do, I was going to put base on, on top of the base. So you don't want to put too many products under your eyes or it will crepe. <laughs> I just uh, feel better while we bit concealer. Even okay, if what? we go, even if we go super duper heavy with everything else. Um, Nina, what is Nina? Can you just put it in the chat? Nina's gonna put her Depop name in. So if you are after the American makeup, it's Foxy Nay. Then go follow her Depop, and then I think from there you can maybe join the WhatsApp group. Uh. Yeah, check check out her uh, her Depop. If I had millions of pounds, do you know what I would do? I would just move in with Nina. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just look at all of her stock. I'm excited to be on it, Teresa. It's, I've actually put it on my calendar, filming R&R. &R. It's been ages. Well, are you on this week? Yeah. Cool. Well, let's get all the cats together, Teresa. <laughs> Just have a section for cats. Oh, Greg's doing portraits of my boys for me. I can't oh, wait. Oh, but that would be lovely. Right, I'm going to blow them up huge and stick them in the frames. Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Can we get, could you get them little bow ties? Oh, they've got bow ties. <gasps> please, please one. can they wear them? That will... Hi, Gaia. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You've just missed me having a few tantrums, that's all. <laughs> I tried to keep my cool, swore a few times. You've done I've, well. I've... Honestly, I'm surprised my mother hasn't texted me. Saying that I said a bad word. Dude, Is watching? that's a really gross noise. Imagine a portrait of my cats with Teresa's cats. Imagine a portrait of all the sausage cats together. That would be the best thing ever. Big old cat fest. Six cats. In regards to base and powder, do you want to do it the way I do it, or do you just want to do your own thing with your base? I'll probably do my own thing just because that makes me more comfortable, and I'm already uncomfortable with the eyes. <clears throat> um, and then I'll carry on your tuition. Because uh, what I do is I powder my base down, spray it, and then go in with bronzer and stuff. Mm. Sometimes I do that. Yeah. I do that. I just find that it makes everything goes on smoother, but my skin is difficult, so I have to take that step. But it's not a step that's necessary for everyone. I can't wait till you play on my skin and see how easy it is. It just does what you tell what you tell it to do. I can't wait till I can give you a Daniela-style base. You've seen my work. So we are powdering. I'm not, I was going to do all my cream product, but... I'm using my hourglass because I really like it. I don't usually go in with bougie bougie, but like my skin needs that today. I'm going to use my number seven because I adore it. It's Nina so got me the hourglass and it's probably my favourite powder now. It's amazing. I love my hourglass. I save it for best because it's so good. I like it when my skin's being difficult because it just works. And I, you need, you've seen me struggle with base stuff before and powders. Like, it does happen with me. 
but um, with my Dior, it just works so nicely. The Too Faced um, powder, I also really like. What one? The one in the big tub. Born this way. I'll bring it down. It's really nice. I actually decluttered that. Do you know what? Yeah. I, re I really, really like mine. I love the um, pressed Charlotte Tilbury. And I've not tried the loose one. Is it good? I know I need, uh, Elena's got it. I like something. I like the pressed Charlotte Tilbury, but I do find it a little thick for me. When I do my base, and when I've even though I put a lot on, once I've done my base and I touch my face, I want to feel like there's nothing on. Mm. That's you know, for me, creams and heavy things don't bode well with my texture. So for me, it's a little bit too much. But because um, I, I like to work with, like personally, with buildable things, I like to build. Where do I add this? Where do I change what it says? Uh, edit. I just want to put Nina's um, name on the screen. Just tap it. Just tap it and it appears. I think it's yeah. like a double. Oh yeah, right. Comments. Ooh. Excuse me while I'm melting. Yeah, that's Nina's Depop. If you are interested in uh, hard to get American makeup. If you guys are drier in skin and struggle with the all nighter, get the chill. Thank me later. It does. It has the same hold, but it's a lot more hydrating. I really spray my base down before I go in with other base products. It's not just American makeup either, she'll get like collide offs and stuff as well. So she gets like all the new releases. Did I look like I was raging there? Oh, I wasn't looking. It's fine, I spray at the end as well. Like for me, I like to settle my base before I go with other base products. So once I've done this, I'm going to do my under eyes and then continue my base because I can work them into each other. So do we do under eyes before like bronzer and all that? Yeah, I am today for this look. I do switch it up depending on what look I'm doing, but this is what I'm doing today. I am going to prime my under eyes and I'm going to go quite low of it. And it's going to look wild, but once it's all blended out and done, it will look normal. So I like to get my primer and I really like, I go, I go in. And I'm going to bring it down to about, down to about there and then tap it out on my fingers. Yeah, it looks, like I said, it looks mad, but it works. <laughs> this is another trust the process moment. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. That's why I didn't want to put lots of concealer down, because then you're going to layer the products and you don't want it too heavy. At least because it's just foundation on right now. Um, and I just, I just tap out the edges of my fingers. These unicorn brushes are quite nice, by the way. These new ones. The angelic ones. Are they the unicorn cosmetics ones? Yeah, they're nice. They do look nice. I like the um, handles on them as well. They've got nice shapes. Like actually useful brush set as opposed to brush set that you're like, like what do I do with this? Look at this wee one. Like, it's almost like an M506. I really okay, like I like that. Or like a 228. Just a nice one. What are we doing on the inner corner? We're going to do an inner corner wing, but that's later on. Oh dear, they don't suit well. I can try. I can try. This is do, you have, do you have uh, eyeliner felt tips? Because they're amazing for inner corner wings. Yeah. It's, it's really good to control with a, with a felt tip as opposed to a, a dippy brush. Don't test. Don't taste care. Test. Don't make me do do you want the blendiest, blackest eye pencil you can find? Um... Yeah, I've got some. Probably my <laughs> my Kat Von D. I am going to use Mac and Smolder if I can find it again. I've got a couple, but that was the one I used yesterday. It's, I like the oh yeah, it's here. I like the amount of play time I get with it because with gel liners sometimes, um, if you want to blend them down, they'll sit quite fast, and you don't want that. You want them to be kind of blendable. 
the James Charles used to be one of my favourite palettes. Uh, but I got rid of it. Cause... Give me a minute. I'm just going to sharpen this pencil. It's not. There we go. Sensual seduction. I love a bit of snoop. I am um, Radio One. Was it last night? No, the night before. It was. Uh, it was Charlie's Club. So good. No, who um, Greg was hanging out with today? Mister Jam. Oh, that's cool. He's uh, shooting a wedding, and he was there. Right, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with this eye first, and then you can just copy it. So you've seen me do this before, where I blend onto my waterline, but then bring it down so there's no gaps. Uh -huh. But with this, I'm bringing it down quite in, and I'm also sort of almost winging it into my inner corner like this, so quite thick and down. But when we get our pencil brush in a minute, we're going to blend it down even further and create a darker base for the other colours we'll be applying. And that's why you want... I'm going to do one eye at a time because this can set. Okay. It's all right. Just use any kind of like shorter stuff stiffer blending brush anything works like I, i'm using like one of these yeah and uh i will get and because you've put the base down this will buff and blend out really nicely that's why you want a more creamy pencil this is another unicorn brush it's perfect for this i bring it down don't be scared if it looks crazy because when you put shadow on it will disappear see how low i'm going with mine like I make a mess and then clean it up after, if that makes sense. I mean, it's all part of the grunge. I'd bring it lower. That's really low, though. Yep. Trust the process. Oh, fuck me. Trust the process. Right, that is bloody low. I don't want to hear a word about it, Tess. This Kat Von D is so good, honestly. They know how to do eyeliners, that's for sure. Lip liners too are nice by them. Is it is it the twist up one? Yeah. Yeah, I like their pencils. Yeah, they're real good. I got rid of my James Charles ages ago, Lori. I couldn't keep it and use it anymore. Well, I couldn't use it anymore. I'll bring that in a little more. How do you feel about me being Edinburgh in three weeks? Teresa, I'm so excited to see you. We've we've been talking about it, like all every time we me and Danielle text each other, we talk about meeting you in Edinburgh. It can't be three weeks, is it? It's about just under actually. All right. I'm thinking, fuck, are you coming a week early? Which would be fine, but then we won't see Teresa. <laughs> I, I don't mind making a mess of mine because I know that once I do all the shadow and diffuse it later, it will work out. It's just adding to the smoke. I am going to, not all the way up, use the same brush and be careful because you don't want to get black on your face. So I'll tap it off. But I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with Nar. But Nar, Noir, Nar. Nar. Because <laughs> my brain mix Nars and Noir. But um, I'm gonna set just under my eyes of it, and I'm gonna look down so I don't get fallout. Teresa, are you gonna be here on your own then? Because you'll need to come and just um hang out here then for a few days. You're not staying in Edinburgh on your own all that time. This is a good tip for people that want to do their base but want to do black under eye. Make sure you face straight down into the mirror. So if there's any fallout, it falls off, not onto your face. And Teresa, make, sure you really, with us. make sure you really pack it in into the primer that you've just laid down, into the pencil. It will just deepen everything up. 
Oh well, God, this is so moody. I love it. But yeah. You have to come and have a board game night with us, uh, Teresa. My eyes are not even. I need more on you the time. You can here the whole time if you want, Teresa. We can just have a day out in Edinburgh. If you don't mind sleeping on the couch, if you can get your money back for your hotel. Then you can come and stay here and hang out with the cats and me and... Um, this bitch. Yeah, and I, I've got the car so I can drive us anywhere if you want. I know I'm kind of thinking, I'm thinking how murky that is. Ooh, don't want my mirror to fall. Oh, perfect. That's what I wanted. I got a blow up bed, Teresa. A double bed and a blow up bed that would happily sleep three of us and a huge, huge couch. So now we're going to get just the clean, regular, yeah. fluffy brush. Hold on. No worries. Teresa might come and stay here while you're staying here. Oh, that's fine with me. Because she's on, her, she's on her Todd in Edinburgh though now because her parents can't come. Hmm. So she can cancel her hotel and just come and stay here. I am happy with whatever happens. Yeah, because there's plenty of room for us. Mm. Right. What are we doing? Hi, I want to get a regular clean fluffy, fluffy brush and just diffuse the edges a little bit before we go on with the next colour. Elena's braced them for their presence. Thought we were just chopped liver to her. <laughs> Hi, Elena. I'll text you after this, Teresa. You, do you have any of the Morphe M456? Me? Yeah. No. They're one of my favourite brushes. I'll bring you my favourite brushes and we'll have a look at each other's brushes when I come up, see what we like using. Just cancel it, Teresa, especially if you can get, if you don't then have to pay for it. That'll save you money and then you'll have more spending money when you're here. Okay. I am going back into the XL Pro, into one of these brushes. So I've got two. I've got this one and a slightly smaller one. If you can see, there you go. So you can see the sizes. Yeah. And I'm mixing. I'm mixing funky and persuasion. So I'm dipping into one, and dipping into the other. If you're worried about how they mix, if people are stressed about mixing, mix it on the back of your hand and then go in. Oh, I'm never stressed about that. Yeah, I like. I think these shadows mix really well. I'll save it, Susie. Don't worry. Tuck it just under the black and get it nice and moody, just right here. Tell me you did this pink just for me. Yes, I did. I wanted to include pink. And we're going to go into pep talk afterwards and blend it out anyway. Oh, you cow. You beautiful cow. <laughs> it's crazy looking under the eyes because it's grunge. It's meant to be extra. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, that's the vibe, so... Can hear my boys in the kitchen yelling at me. Oh, this is so moody. I'm living. It just looks mean. I love it. <laughs> we can do a live with the three of us getting ready. Oh, that would be so fun. Yeah. We get to see Teresa's magical graphic liner skills. Yeah, and I and she won't have to worry about reading the comments because she'll have both of us there. Well, mostly you, because I also suck at reading comments. Yeah, well, I'll read all the comments. <laughs> Guys, you can just put makeup on. Sorry, I'm already going in with pep talk here. That's fine. I just got excited. Get excited. It's cool. Yeah, well, Teresa, you can just be like this the whole time, and I'll read all the comments. I'm diffusing a bit before I go in with pep talk, just because I went a little bit too far out here but that's fine it's not a big deal for me like even though i'm a pro i am quite messy but it kind of adds to what i do yeah it's not that i can't do precision i just like these yeah, kind of blends you've shown you can do precision it's just 
it's just like me like I love cut creases and I love precise really you know we just have different styles yeah but it doesn't mean you can't do the other one well you've seen me do it <laughs> exactly you've done it on lives before oh pink is bringing this all together I've got to say Oh, absolutely, Laurie. If you come, if any English sausages come up to Scotland, you're talking about. Before we day out, we get some fresh In between funky, I get a really fluffy brush. I diffuse all of this. And I mean really fluffy. And then I go back in again, like really, because then it turns into a proper gradient. So I just really, I really let the brush do, do the work for me here. Put indoor masks back on in uh, America, it seems. Do you see the difference? Yeah, but you're perfect and I'm not. No, that's what I'm saying. Get the fluffy brush. But do you see the gradient it creates? Like it's still moody, but it's now softened into the base. Um, Tess is saying you have to call me when you're at mine so that she can talk to me, you and Teresa at once. That's fine. Absolutely. Now we want, when you're ready, if you want to get unexpected. Oh, baby. And I'm going to teach you one of my favourite tricks that I like doing quite often. It just... You can see my beautiful little Z palette. That's oh, cool. oh, 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 sorry. You want to get some on your finger, Missa, and you want to do what I'm doing here, so massage it into the back of your hand so it's not as much on your finger mm -hmm. yeah and then lightly tap it across the black under the eye you mean yeah lightly tap it so it's like sparse oh man Pinch and then add a little bit onto the, and then add a little bit onto the pink so like touches that is utterly Stunning. Holy hell. Turns it into a galaxy. What the heck? Fuck me. Sorry, I'm not supposed to swear on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got really fat fingers and I've now put it like in my eye bags. This is going to be a step when you're done that you're used to, which is go into Keen in the XL Pro and just extend the yellow everywhere. So there, above, into the into the temples. So you see where this mustard ends? I'm going to bring it up here. No, I didn't, Tess. I didn't. Right, Keen. Right, I'm getting keen on my. Pink. I was going to put it underneath, but I think keeping it like this works because I was going to do it under the purple and pink as well. But I think having them one above the other works quite nicely. Because I played around with both options and I think that was the best one. Okay, sausage. My boys are actually really good with guests. They'll come out after about two minutes of hiding and then they're happy to play with you. So. Oh, yeah. You and Teresa will actually get to see my boys properly. I like how I asked you what are they fussy with and you were like nothing but just like treats. <laughs> they love dreamies and Potato loves those yogurt treats. If You'll you have to send me a link of what they look like because I have no idea. But oh, I'm done. Well. Because you can't come and stay here without bringing a present for the boys, I'm sorry. Uh, well, you already know I was planning on doing that. Exactly. Teresa, take note. <laughs> I'm kidding. And if you can see, I blend mine right into my brow, because I do my brows at the end. I just add extra extra hairs if I need to. Elena, I'll do a live with you if it's this setup where you teach me something. Because I'm enjoying this a lot. But I do not like when I have to come up with the look. Um, am I allowed to go in with a bit of that first shade that we used? The is it clay just to blend into that? You can, yeah. I, I, if you want to reinforce stuff, by all means. I just think it will maybe look a wee pinch better 
Only Even maybe adding a touch of bamboo under again as well might add a bit more towards the edge. Because yeah. I did that yesterday and I quite like that too. I just think where I've like patted it on, it looks a bit harsh, but if I can blend it into the yellow, then I'll be happy. Yeah, that's better already. And then I'll add a wee bit more yellow. <laughs> Technically, I'm still doing what you're telling me to do. I'm glad you're taking some like fun. I'm I'm just glad you're having fun with it. So that makes me happy. Yeah, but how do I fix my under eye where I put glitter on my eye bags? It's kind of the point. It's meant to look like grunge, you're kind of meant to look sexy but ill at the same time. <laughs> that's why I love black, that's why I love black smoky eyes, because you look like you've been up all night. I mean, look at me. This isn't this isn't perfect. It's messy and wild, and that's fun. And when the lashes are on, it will pull it all together. I mean, it still looks kind of perfect. So I'm sure everyone will agree with me. I've just done this a million times more. That's all. If you practice a couple times, you'd you'd clock it instantly. And if anything, you've done an amazing job today. So give yourself some credit, girl. Once I again. did. I did yesterday add yellow underneath as well, but it's up to you if you want to do it. I quite like it because when I blend it into the bronzer, I, I went on the outsides here just to add a bit of weird. But if you don't want to do it, don't. I did it. But I like being extra. It almost makes it like an under eye sunset as well, but grungy. I only go half way in there. Sylvia found your Patreon. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. I'll have to put a nice welcome to the page post once I'm off here. But if you're if you're not part of it, if you join Danielle's Patreon, she does makeup calls. So you can like phone her one to one, you can schedule it and she'll like go through a makeup look with you. So and that's an actual professional teaching you how to do it. So if that's something that interests you, um, I'll put it in the description box once we're done. Oh, that's so grungy. This is one of my favourite looks I've done. Is it? Yeah. Because I feel like it's everything we both enjoy. I'm looking forward to seeing it with everything, like all my base on, and then seeing... Oh, we're going ham with blush. <laughs> Hammy ham. <laughs> But uh, I know you appreciate my colour work, like how I oh, pair colours and things. I like the yellow down there. Me too. No, so I think you, I think that's the right decision. I mean, I don't know if I'm copying the exact same shape that you've done, but I like it down there. I, I just I just roll with it. I'm just like, knit. <laughs> might actually just go back and with a wee bit more pink. I really like these unicorn brushes. I usually hate brush sets that I get sent. But these are quite nice. I feel really quite sexy. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. That makes me really happy. I told you it would come together. And the good thing is, Greg's going here tonight. I, want, I can't <laughs> wait for you to tell me what he thinks. <laughs> he can't watch because he's uh, obviously working, but... I am, I'm going into bronzer now because I work the bronzer into the yellow and then into the blush. Right. So that's me. Yeah. We're on bronzer now. Hold on. Yeah, we're on bronzer now. I do my mascara and lashes at the end so I don't get powder on them. Yes. Was it Wayne Goss or Lisa Elliott? I love Wayne Goss. And I've, and I've never done anything different now. I have to do that last. Yeah. And we're going to do our inner corner wings last as well, because if we do a tiny ones, you can then extend them if you want to, because then you can see how it looks before you add it and then add it if you want to add it. You will meet Greg, Teresa, yes. He said he would come, well, he said maybe a night out at the pub because we can play pool. I know you don't drink, obviously, Teresa. Um, but he probably won't drink that night either because he'll need to drive home, so. I'm going heavy with my bronzer, but that's because it's part of my vibe. That's what I do. So, you yeah, know, you can do Hi, whatever Helen. you want. Hi, Helen. How are you? We'll still be here for a while, Helen. Don't worry. Also, as a Missa knows, my lights do saturate my face a lot. When I go into natural light, it won't look this wild. <laughs> oh, let me plug in my... Uh, my 
What bronzer should I use today? I'm asking the audience here. Oh, oh okay. I was, I was going to say no, a warmer one. No, no, no. I'm asking the audience. That looks really good on you. What bronzer? I've got a million. Hi, Mammy Teresa. Mammy Teresa's watching us. Um, well, I can't remember. My Huda's, like the new Huda, like the glowish one. I th is that not a bit, oh yeah, I could use that. Yeah. I'd go with something quite warm toned. Well, I've got, Becky sent me this kimchi one ages ago, which is very warm. That's pretty. That's pretty I'd go with that. Because it's grungy, and if we blend yellow out, because you can use yellow and orange blush, we're going to use a couple. That will work with both colours really nicely and flatter the whole thing. Oh, you mean the, the Be Perfect one, Chloe? I love the Be Perfect bronzer yeah. you use. I'm obsessed with that. Chloe saying use that one. Yes, please. And actually, I got a few comments saying, can you try that again, but on like your usual makeup? Well, there you go. So, because someone said it looked a wee bit muddy, can you try it when you're putting your normal makeup on? So, let's try it now. I love comments like that because they're not mean. Yeah. It's just like, oh, it's a bit muddy, can you give it another shot? Not like your makeup looks muddy, you know what I mean? I go really heavy with everything, but it's part of the vibe. It photographs well. So, can I ask you a question? Of course. Would you say to say tonight, me and you and Teresa, we're going out in Edinburgh. Would you go out with that makeup on? Yeah, hundred percent. So that is the kind of makeup you wear out. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I would wear this out because I'm really happy with my skin. I I've always been really individual, and I like 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 without sounding up my own ass when people stare because I'm being a little bit different it's kind of empowering because I like to push individualism mm -hmm. not because oh yeah I'm different it's more about being your own person and owning it and I'm very big on that and if I do a makeup look like this and I put so much effort into it hell yes am I going out in it bye Lisa take some take some good painkillers and turn off all the lights my favorite con what's your favorite contour mine's probably like if i had to like put money on it would be my coco contour from 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 too faced uh i like too faced as well but i really like my smashbox palette that i have that i keep in my kit because i don't contour myself too much because i'm quite olive so if i use too much gray on me it doesn't pull so well so i tend to just stick with bronzer as it defines me anyway but uh, if, I, if i'm going all out then i'll use a smashbox set that i really like I'm just assuming I put this bronzer on my forehead as well, right? Yeah, I put it across my nose, and then I'm also going to use... You want to go in with a really orange blush. <gasps> I could use my new one from Be Perfect. Yes, I really want you to use that. I'm I might buy that when it comes out. It looks oh, sexy. actually, it's another beautiful blush I have, and I don't think many people talk about it. Um, Sleek Life's a Peach. It's not orange, Ooh. but... Look. No, yeah, I love that. Use it. I'm 100% down. That's that. Sorry, I had a contour on that. I, I, I'd like that, please. My favourite blush that. brush is broken, so I'm going to have to glue that later, but it is old as hell, so. <laughs> Good damn you. I can't get over that you paid 30 quid for one. So. It's fine, I'll just use a different one. It's just that one's quite stiff, so I prefer it. Well, I'm going to use Nina's lovely Spectrum Pantherine brush that's also angled. But yeah, I like using an angled brush for this kind of look because the look with grunge that I like to go for, especially with my blush placement, is I like to go across my nose and up into my cheeks and then into my blush right under my eyes because I like to look almost like sunburnt. I think I it's part of the vibe. I don't know. So Holly's saying she's deaf. I don't think there's captions on lives, is there? No, there isn't. Sorry. 
Oh, there is, but I think it's like auto generated. So I think but with no. our accents, it might be a bit mad. But I don't think it happens while you're filming, is it not? Once it's maybe saved. Possibly. I actually have no idea. Okay, yeah. I go... That bronzer is the lightest one, and that is dark. Putting out there, Chloe, if you're thinking about it, it's very dark. <gasps> Go and like the video. Thank you, Lisa. What is it? Cabbage. S. Cabbage. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And never forget to bronze your ears or you look like headlamps. <laughs> so will I use, will I use that um, yeah. sleep one? I'd like that, please. I think these are like three ninety nine, and they are so nice. Oh, I look, I look mental right now, but I kind of love it. I go really heavy. If you can get some on your nose too, please, that will be that'll be everything. Have you guys enjoyed this so far? Should we do more of these videos? Well, we do one where I teach Daniela. I'd love that. I'd love because I'd love you to teach me something structured. It would just be fun seeing yeah. how you copied me. I might put more yellow on once. Go I'm for done it. And just like bring those together. I I bring my blush right into my bronzer and almost mix the two because I like looking like it does look a bit tango, but once the highlighter's on, everything diffuses better. So that's just okay. my thing. Highlighter yet? Oh. I spray in between as well. I only ever spray at the end. But my I, skin doesn't really need it. That's the only thing. Oh, it's for me, it's for powder application. I, I like it melting into the skin. So when I put the highlighter on, it gives me that wet look. Thank you, Nora. She's had one of the best lives I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Take that. I'm going in with a bit of a. Uh, Silence is golden. Do you have lights like, you can turn on if you need them? Because I'd like to see how it looks with a bit more lighting, if you can show that. Yeah, I can shut my curtains and then put my beauty lights on. I'd love to see that. I mean, you can. Cool. Yeah, I might put a bit more yellow down there. Oh, can't wait for the lashes to go on as well. It just makes it so fierce. Look, a pit pan on a blush. Wow. Never happened in my blooming life. Oh, look at that. It just adds to the grunge. I'd even put right? a bit next to the yellow here. Yeah. I think this Silence is Golden Blush is one of the best things I've ever bought. I would I love it but in matte because for me, I mean, would you believe I built my, my base completely matte right now? But they have a matte version. Oh, I'll, I'll buy the matte version because I like my skin to look like glass, but I do that right at the end with highlighter. Um, it's just a different structure. Sarah, she says I'm not allowed to use Benefit Cookie. <laughs> well, oh, I, I can't wait. I can't ever. wait to show you my Dior's, the Dior highlighters that I use. Have you seen the new Kylie ones? Yeah, um, they're also meant to be talc free and jelly powder bank which is yeah. a bit like the Dior formula so if they're affordable I'm 100% getting them they're not going to be affordable though are they babe I'll get them anyway because baked products last such a long time like you, you literally only need the smallest amount of them and they're so blinding and beautiful and you could use this on any texture skin and it just comes out nice every time also a lovely sausage sold me the gold version do you know what? I saw you commenting on that saying, can you wait like a couple of days and hold it for me? And I was like, I wonder if she got it or not. I did. And it's stunning. Oh, yeah. Recreate it, Teresa. Teresa Howard, not Teresa Mulhern. I'm happy for anyone to recreate this because I've actually got a, gr a grunge challenge going in my own group. So, you know, I, I, I can't wait to, for you to see Kerry's grunge challenge that Look she at added. Blush drawer. I'm sorry, but how beautiful is my blush drawer? That makes me happy. I'll send right. you a picture of mine later. I've got two drawers full. It's really bad. And I decluttered as well. I can't get over it. When I when I like blush, I'm just like, yes. Do you want to... 
watch that quad for us. Oh, of course. Um, a few of us are kind of ogling it. I know that you like to do your own bass as you do, but would you be willing to copy my highlighter style just to see how it looks? Only thing is I won't put it on my forehead because I've got wrinkles. Not on the sides above the brows. I, I can put it on the sides. That's where I do it. I don't do it there. I do it here and I go in between the eyes. I don't go here. No, I've got a singular line across there too. No, like, I've got many lines. Sorry, I'm okay. getting... Oh, I'm a Botox the crap out of mine when I've got cash. Like, balls to that. There you go. Oh! The, the reason why I like these is the way they sheer out and look on the skin. They don't pick up on texture, whereas a more traditional powder blush stands out quite a lot, which is why. And for me personally, like a lot of people like highlighters with a strong undertone. I prefer a highlighter with a translucent undertone, but with a shift. So further back, you can't see anything. But when the light hits it, it's bam. That's, uh, my, that's my preference. Judy's asking, Danielle, if I joined your Patreon, would you be able to help me with bronzer, blush, and contour placement? I really struggle with base. 100%, and I've done that a few times before, and we can make it all work on a budget. So. And and she helped me with that as well, so. Yeah, she can do it. Um, I'll, um, what is, can someone find the link for Danielle's Patreon and put it in the comments? And, um, sorry. Hi, Badge Rang. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Sorry, I had to put on a little bit of my pastels yellow as a bit of a blush on my cheekbones. And look, I've just hit pan because I've done that. I'm going to sell mine for like five, six quid if anyone wants it. Not because it's bad, but because I'm like more medium in tone and on me. I actually prefer the Utopia. I was uh, going to say Utopia will be more your thing. Yeah, so I, I, mine's pretty untouched still. So if anyone wants it, I'm decluttering it. Helen, if you want it, Botox was like the best thing I did, but it did only last on me for about three months. And have you got a hydrating? Hi, have you got a hydrating face spray? Because I want you to do the highlighting thing I do. I want to see how it looks on you. What kind of spray do you think? A hydrating one, not a setting one. So, what about so maybe your glow spray. Have you got your shaking glow? I've got that, or I've got Pixi Rose Glow, or I've got the Glam Glow. Ooh, use the Glam Glow. That one's lovely. It's very fine, so you won't be adding too much later to you. Because I know you don't like too much, so that's quite... Well, what <laughs> highlighter should I prepare out of my drawer first, though? I'm not allowed to use Cookie, remember? Can I use my cookie dupe serum? Will you let me use my cookie dupe? I'd let you use cookie if you use Artist Couture on top. Oh, oh no, I, I might use Ray Rider. So I'd love that because it's golden. Yeah, let's go. Ray Rider, sorry. Which I hit pan on as well. Look. That's beautiful. I have Ray Rider. I love mine. I have four Ray Rider, Diamond Dasher, Something Sailor, and uh, Space Prophecy. Botox didn't hurt Tess. I didn't even notice it. But apparently I'm good with pain because getting needles, getting tooth injections, getting tattoos and getting Botox, none of it hurt me. You know but what? Period, with fibro... Period pain, period pain makes me awful. <laughs> Same. You know what's funny with me and fibromyalgia? Because for those who don't know, I suffer with fibromyalgia. I'm also classed as disabled. Uh, I also have a really high pain tolerance, oddly enough. The I, certain... Uh, yeah. But do you know what actually hurts my hands the most? Opening bottles. I know that sounds really dark. I always have to have someone nearby if I'm opening a bottle or a jar. But um, when it comes to like leg waxing, bashes, bruises, I'm pretty tough. Right, got my cocoa bling ready. And Sarah said I can use Benefit Cookie. I'm going to take that opportunity to use Benefit Cookie because I never use Benefit Cookie. And it just gets, it gets neglected in my collection. So, are we using Ray Rider as well? Yeah. You can use all three if you want. Um, so. so, I'm just going to pin the comment where Teresa mentioned your Patreon. There we go. So, spray first and then. Yeah. And that because that one's fine, it won't make your face too wet, which I like because obviously. 
the setting spray is so fine. You can talk and have your eyes open while you spray it, and it doesn't irritate you. Yeah. Like, I knew straight away as soon as you said that one had a great mister on it. Do you know what my favourite is right now? Look at the spray on this Fenty. You can't even see it. Does it what does it smell like? Because I can imagine it smelling nice. Just, you'll use this when you come up. It's so nice. Okay, so just highlight now. Do you have a brush like this? Where it's a little stiffer on the end, but it's got a point. That one? Anything a little pointier or is that the best you've got? All right. Uh... Just because, like, this helps. That no, it's not. Yeah. That's not a bad one. Yes. So we've one. Oh, is it the one hundred five? Yeah. That's the one I'm using. Sweet, perfect. I use my brush right at the end, and I tap off the excess. So you're going into Ray Rider, because I know I'm you. I'm going to use Cookie. I'm sorry. I have. To. That's fine. Sarah, 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 I'm going to show you this before you go in, because you're very precise with your highlights. This is going to change your world. For those who want glass skin, this is how you acquire it. You hold your brush at the end, light as you can, and you go into big circles and you work it down into your blush and into your bronzer, down your face. You see this? And down into here. And you buff with the lightest hand. That's why you tap an amount off because you want it. When I'm looking dead on, it's translucent. But when I turn, it's bam. But you work that in and you work that up into here. You do the same on the other side. Teresa, if you're staying here, then you're definitely going to have to have videos done. Because me and Daniela already have three videos planned, so now we're going to have to have, like, six videos planned. And that's not a problem. But then look at the finish. So front on, side on. Yeah. And it still hits where the light hits, so it doesn't look like it's not precise. It just adds to your glow. Yeah, I never put it down that low because I just feel like it emphasises my eye bags. Yeah, but you're grunge, so it doesn't matter today. So. <laughs> Teresa, I could do your makeup for your channel. You could do my makeup for my channel. And I'll do both your makeup. For, yeah, and then we'll do a live as well, like a sausage live, if you guys would be happy with that. And we could do we could do three lives for each of our sausage, for each of our Patreon pages. Like, the more you buff it, the, the wetter it looks. I'm sorry, but Benefit Cookie is the superior highlight in the highlight world. How's this look, though? I'm using the Dior for the properly for the first time. How's it looking? It's nice. It's real nice. It's not giving a cast or anything. Yeah, that's why I like it. It still has a gold shift when it hits the light, but it's not... Yeah. So I go tip of the nose next, obviously Cupid's bow, obviously chin. Uh, my favourite place to highlight is bang in the middle here. It I is like just, it there, yeah. yeah, I just really, I buff it. I like Mac, how you're using such a tiny brush and I'm just like, oof, all in. A Mac makeup artist told me to put my highlight here and then it draws the attention. I use my finger for that. So you do that too? Yeah. I go here, here, and then I use my finger and go up the bridge. And uh, I go above the arches. Who's IG Fatima? Who's are you asking for? Benefit Cookie is the tit, Sarah. It is the tit. So it's the absolute tit. I'm going to do a video of the only 10 products I could keep if I had to get rid of my collection. And Cookie's going to be in it. My Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is going to be in it. And um, Nick's. Silence is golden. It's going to be in it. And this is highlighter number one. I mean. <laughs> yeah. And now all the blush and bronzer makes sense because it blends into each other and works. So now we're going to go into Coco Bling, the babe. I, I can't it. wait for you to get your peach one. I've got it here. I'll be, I'm just going to bring all your stuff up instead of posting it. Yeah, it's Cosmic Peaches with three Zs. Because someone else took that name originally, so I had to put extra Zs on. Yeah, just bring it up. You don't post it. There's no point in either of us posting stuff right now. I dip into the lid with the same brush, and I 
Don't go all over. I go into the apple. So you know where you like precision. This is where you're precise. So I'm precise with this one. <laughs> I need my mirror. This is where I'm precise. Exactly, Teresa. We can do it all in person. How little do you need with that, though, as well? Like This, this pot of Coco Bling will be with me for probably like 10 years, let's be honest. And I have every colour. Do you want me to bring them all down and show you? <laughs> you have to, well, you have to bring everything now, especially because Teresa's coming. Oh god! Uh, if you if you want to take this to even the next level, highlighter wise, I'd like to put diamond bomb on top as well. I also have diamond bomb. And I just place that. Yeah, I it's, a thing, it's a finger shade. Diamond bomb is a finger shade. I look like I've been rolling around in a sexy disco ball. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Do you want to, are you happy with your brows as they are? Because I need to take care of mine. Honestly, mine are totally fine. I might put a bit cool. of red in that song. I'm going to push mine up again a little more and add a little more hairs. And I, and uh, if you're cool with doing your mascara. Uh, I, well, I do that after I put my yeah. lashes on. Yeah. I really still love the ABH dip brow gel. I swear by it. Especially this blonde shade. Can you believe I spent all day making this up yesterday? I know, I can't believe you did that. It's such dedication. I might put a wee bit more setting spray on. Go for it. It adds to the glow. I'm going to use my Maybelline glass one. I would usually go in with my ABH brow pen, but because my eyes are so heavy, I'm going to use uh, my brow blade instead because it's a slightly lighter shade. Just so I don't overpower the brows because the eyes do plenty of talking. If Elena was here, she would say we were glowy and hoy. I say that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she would also tongue click. Or tongue pop, that's whatever that's... that is. I don't know what it yeah. is. Yeah, but Teresa, that's we'll have we'll do like three lives, like each night we'll do a live for each of our groups, and then we'll do the videos as well. It'll be so much fun, and we'll play with cats and eat pizza, and I'll probably get pissed, and you guys won't, but I will. Oh, I am. I'm getting drunk with you. I'll get pissed. You'll meet Greg. We'll play I've been things. so ill the last year and a half, and even though it hasn't been a bad couple of years, because obviously meeting all of you and getting with James has genuinely been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, you know, I've been through a lot, so a break is something I am like, I'm literally emotional thinking about it. It's just something that I think is going to be so wholesome and fun. We're not going to want the week to end. I think what makes it more fun is that a couple of weeks later, we'll be in London watching Chase and Chase State. State. Life. <laughs> be my third time seeing them. It'll be my second. Them. But this time I'm obviously not allowed to kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fly sausage. Get the fly. I don't think I've ever put so much highlighter on. Yes, Sarah. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. I painted my shelves white tomorrow. In fact, instead of like a normal video, Sarah, I've got a vlog coming out and I like redo my beauty room. But how good do my shelves look? Daniela. I love I, them. They, they look right, built in. Right? Yeah. They look so much better. I'm so pleased. There's a It's brightened your room up nicely. Yeah, there's a paint that you can get. I mean, I got it in B&M. It's called Johnson's Cupboard Paint, and it's for Melamine. Oh, Johnson's a good brand. But it's for Melamine Furniture, which is what Ikea is made out of. So it was two layers, completely covered it. Couldn't believe it. Oh, Tess, when you come to Great Britain, the amount of sausages you're going to have to hang out with. Nuts. You're going to have to set up a kissing booth. I'm going to glue my lashes up and then do my lips because I've just done my mascara. 
but I'm going for a set like this because the eyes are quite heavy. I want like quite a fluffy, fluffy, fluffy lash that has a little bit of length, but not too much. Because normally I'd go for longer, but because it's kind of grunge, I want it kind of fluffy on the perimeter of the eyes and then the wing itself to do the talking. Um, what have I got? What, I've got those? No, I don't really like them. Uh, are, they, are they too much? Not really. They're quite pretty. They're full mink as well. I'll, I would be, I'll, if you have anything that has a bit more gap in it, because you can see mine have like gaps. Mm -hmm. What about these unicorns in Rebel Smoke? They're lovely. I like those. I've worn those before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tess, you absolutely can. Uh, I'll place it on and see what you think. Yeah. I might, have, I might have to curl it, though. Yeah, I'll need to curl it. I don't like lashes that just go straight out. Yeah, same. Well, look at these. They go straight up, so, yeah. Yeah. Like, I need my lash to curl. Sorry, my these That's are quite possibly Lick Lash Beauty. I just can't remember which ones because I have a few. There might be the Stellas. That's the Rebel Smoke. I think there might be too plain. You remember the lashes you said to me that I can have because they look a bit puby. I know you don't like them, but they will really work with the look. You think? Mm hmm. For sure. I think it might hurt you. Oh, I put this aside for you as well. No. Oh, I thank you. I don't know if you'll like it, but. No, I'm happy to give it a go. I'm always like, my skin is so difficult lately because of three sets of antibiotics on the trot one after the other has definitely done a number on it. So. Okay. Which pube? We've got 666, or we've got. The, the one underneath. You want a bit more gap. Well, that's you. There's a set of lashes. I'm sorry. I think you're going to love those. They're different. So pubic, though. <laughs> Whose lashes are like... <laughs> Look at them. I, what I did with mine, because they're similar to mine, is I trimmed an inner corner, not an outer, and left the shorter part on the inside. Let leave the lot leave the longer on the outside. Yeah, that's so yeah. grungy. I love that. Yeah, perfect. You've got the lash. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, my and phone got it. Oh, Anne Marie's just sending me pictures of Amy. Uh, ready for a party hold on i i know you've sent me pictures but i can't check until after the live because i use my phone for everything and i didn't link my tablet up in time to my whatsapp so i will check afterwards i'm sure she looks beautiful well i'm gonna tell you oh man she looks excellent can i show the picture Anne marie Absolutely, Nora. As long as you're up for a few drinks, maybe a few board games, we'll get on just fine. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I like a beer. I like a game pool. Should I leave my hair like this for pictures or take it all out and have it all crazy? I've got to say, I do like your hair big. Oh, it will be big when I take these out. Yeah, and you, you, just, you just really suit it big. I'm going to sweat my arse off afterwards, mine. But for photos, it will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jim. Um, if I could only keep one eyeshadow palette in my collection, it would be my love to Kitty. Look at her. Look at, look at Anne Marie's daughter, Amy. Anne Marie said I could share it. She's so pretty. I love that. That top is everything. She's going to a 70s party tonight. How cool does she look? I love it. And you know what? Oddly enough, like all of that's back in fashion as well. So she looks on point. I love it. She looks amazing. Oh, I'm um, lips wise, I'm using a neutral chocolate. Oh, yeah. I'm gluing mine while I do my lips because I let right. the glue settle. Oh, mine, just, mine goes instantly because it's my ruler stuff. All right. I let mine sit for a bit and then just bump them on. I don't need to because it's fuller and it's the best. Well, I'll have to. 
I, I keep meaning to buy it, but it's just like hard to get and expensive, so it's annoying. It's like £16, so it's very expensive, but it is worth it. Look, I've got... Oh, I've got four. That is how much I trust. I usually use a black lash glue, and I'm using Duo at the minute just because there's no black lash glue at the minute anywhere. That's I've got annoying. The black there as well. I usually always just use the black. I've got, do you know what I actually really like was that Duo one, Daniela? That's one. Not you know, the double sided one. Oh I yeah, well, like I'm that. using. I'm just using this one. Mine's battered. I need. I look how much I've got left. It's literally at the bottom. <laughs> oh, do you know what? You like them? I don't hate them. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that was lash glue straight on, lash on top, completely stuck. Hi, and, Gregory. And we're gonna do the inner corner wing with lashes on because you tie the lash into the wing. Yeah. Gregory's here. Hi, Gregory. Do you know what? They're not bad. Look at the difference in the look, though. On. Ooh, hell yes. That's... All I see is my under eye bags. We're always very self critical of ourselves, though, aren't we? When you I have shut such a beautiful my face. My, when I shut my curtains and put my beauty lights on, you won't see them, though, so it's fine. <laughs> Are we doing lower lashes? Only if you want them, but I have no idea where mine are, so I'm not bothering. I won't bother then, because they're very fussy, aren't they? Just a bit. I mean, that is something you already know how to do, so it's not new. Yeah, you need this velour. Especially, I think as a working makeup artist, because you can just put your lashes on instantly. I don't mind waiting because I've, I've like gotten used to doing that. Like if I'm if I'm doing makeup on someone, I don't mind putting lashes down and just going over the brows and some lips and then putting the lashes on. Like I'm quite good with my timing now, so it's something I've adapted. So it's not something I really think about, but uh, I also like the idea of instant flash. Like that's cool. Probably because I'm quite an impatient person, so. If I could put my lash straight on, I'm pretty happy. Oh, it's still so bright outside. It's lovely. So am I just putting mascara on the bottom lashes? Yeah, I've already done mine. I always do my bottom lashes first. Um, You probably already do this, but I get a liquid liner with a pen and I tight line here into where the lash starts so then it ties it in together and that's when I draw my inner wing and match it up no I've not tried it yet Gregory although I've tried some of the brushes tonight and they were really good I like them I'm surprised we're not putting uh, that teal mascara on our lower lash thing putting what? that uh, teal mascara you can if you want I'm not I against it. Like, no, I quite like just seeing the galaxy, to be honest. Okay, that's all. Uh, it's nice, isn't it, Sarah? The packaging is really nice for that uh, unicorn collection, actually. Best one I've done, I think. I did think it was funny that I got the Wicked palette again. You weren't big on that one, were you? No, I got rid of it, mind. I don't mind the split pans, Teresa. I don't know. It's weird. Usually I would, but... There's my inner corner wing. Right. Well, it's not fully even, but I'm not I'm not mad about right. it. Right. It always looks like shite on me. SH1T, sorry. Well, what I like to do, if it helps, like I said, is I tie in my lash. So I just bring it down where the lash is. So that way you've got it perfectly in line with your eye. And then it's perpendicular to the wing you create. I'm just putting a wee bit of my powder there to lighten it up. Whereas I'm just letting it be dark and crazy because it's part of the look. We've definitely got different styles, don't we? I think I'm just very let it be. You're quite like Teresa. 
Whereas I'm probably more like the Lena. And Tia. Tia's a control freak as well with her makeup. I'm just going to put some brow mascara on just to give them a bit more lift. I really like this Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. But clearly they've never had uh, good sex in their lives. <laughs> I love those memes where it shows um, pictures are going better than sex food and it's like the blandest food you've ever seen in your life. It's like, you're right, Sharon. <laughs> Do you need a bit of help there, love? Ah, oh, there we go. My brows look better now. Okay, this inner corner wing is taking on a life of its own. but we're just well, That's why you go small and then build underneath rather than bringing it down. Well, we all make mistakes, don't we? Oh, I love that. It's kind of <laughs> extra, though. But, no, but what people don't realise is, though, that people think in the corner wings make your eyes look smaller. It makes them look bigger because you're extending it. I mean, that's the point of the, you know, the, like, the parallel lines and things as well, because you're extending the eye cheek. You can't see the comments, can you? No. Nora says, holy F and hell, Danielle, I've just gone on your Insta. You're outstanding at makeup. I love your style. Oh, thank you so much. She is great, though. Lips. Angel brushes. I have to say, I've used one, two, four. I've used, yeah, four of the angel brushes, the eyeshadow ones, and they are excellent. So, I don't think you've made a bad decision there. I, uh, I keep a spare pot for brushes that I need to wash. Mine are all over the table right now, but they will be in a pot when I clean them later. <laughs> Before we started, because it's messy. But then I also know what you had in your collection. I could utilize what you owned yeah. rather than saying, Oh, I need a color like this. Oh, it's messy, but it's good messy. I'm going to go in with a really chocolate lip liner, but then a really pale liquid lip. And I'm going to overline quite a bit on my top lip because that's what I like to do. And I like to frame my piercing. Well, I don't have them. Right, a chocolate brown. I've got, I mean, I've got browns coming out the wazoo. So this kind of brown, yeah. That's perfect, yeah. This is MUA. Obsession. Is it TLC? Obsession. Obsession. I think I have that one too. Mine are peaches and cream, but I love that you get five for £15 and I love them. I mean, look how small this one is now. Praline is my favourite, but this one's awesome with a pale lip on. It's just mm, it's everything. So am I just doing DSLs? Yes. Of course we are. It's... <laughs> yeah. Entertain yourselves. I can't talk while I'm doing this. Oh, I can't wait to see Samantha. Samantha's making me a set of brushes and they look so cool. <gasps> That's exciting. Are they like blinged or something? Mm -hmm. <gasps> what colour? Is it pink? Pink. I thought there would Obviously. be. <laughs> yeah. Is it pink? I, lo I, I love Pants. pink. I love pink so much as well. My favourite shade of pink is magenta. My lip line is not the most amazing, but I'm um, whatever. You know how bad. DSL, Claire. I can't say it out loud. Somebody help her. DSL means dead. Do sexy. Noodles. <laughs> it's gonna look mad until it doesn't. I've got two choices because I want to use my favorite, but the other choice, which I know you've got, is Dosa Colors Sand. Mm -hmm. 
What's the I'm going to go in with my peach one just because on me it's more flattering, but I know sand looks amazing on you as well. So just use sand. Excuse you. <laughs> right, lots of color sand. Come to me, baby. Look, it's gonna be quite pale for this lip liner, though. No. Tried them both yesterday. They look banging. Do I go over the lip liner? If you guys want to learn how to catfish your lip, I'll have a 101 in the future on this. Who needs a couple hundred for fillers when all you need is a lip liner and a good lipstick? Oh, yes. That's I so do want filler, but at the same time, I don't. It's one of those, I think you're like me, where you're curious and you try it, but it's not something you care about too much. Because yeah. it's not it's not a permanent thing. It's just until it runs out. Yeah, that's true. I always mess up my liner, though. I'm always dead messy with my lips, but not the worst. I'm going to use a pale bullet on top because mine's a little deeper and just pale it out a bit more. These are the ones I'm bringing down for you as well. I'm just going to tap that in. You tap your lipstick into your liner and it just merges it nicely. Sorry, I can't talk while doing this. That's fine. Probably why I've messed mine up, because I have. <laughs> while I'm here and you're doing that, I'm just going to grab a bit more pep talk and go back in underneath a little bit and add just a bit more on me. And just reinforce that here for me because when you when you do a lot of setting spray it does take off the top layer so sometimes it's good to reinforce your shadows at the end before you set it with a more setting setting spray because there is differences in the two i might lighten up the middle of mine what do you think well i did how how Spice Girls is that lit, though? I mean, I feel pretty good. Yeah. I've got my MAC powder kiss that I always use for lightening. Go for it. I use, the, I use this one, which was really pale as well. So I just go in the middle. I'm just stabbing on more pink here just to reinforce it some more. Letting it make its way and back into the yellow because it won't interfere with the highlight because the highlight's just on and glowing. I've just hit pan on the yellow, no surprises. Gregory, I'm gonna put a bit of concealer on mine just for you. Are we putting gloss on or keeping it matte? I say that's totally up to you. I, I put a bullet on so it's not matte, if that makes sense. My bullet is matte, that's the only thing. Alright, yeah, I used a um a satin. But if you want to go gloss, go gloss. Thanks, Sandra. Maybe just in the middle. Yeah. 
I love that lip on you though. It's different to what you normally do and it's just so extra. It's definitely different. Mm. Different is good. I'm gonna use my final setting spray, which you're gonna love when I come down. The Scandinavia Bridal. And this you only need a little bit off. I use my hydrating setting sprays in between to add hydration to the base, make sure the powders melt into each other. And then at the end is the one you use that waterproofs everything, adds the film, locks it all in. Yeah, I don't really need to look. Uh, the MAC one is best of me, Gregory. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I thought you just farted there. No, <laughs> I'm going to take my hair out because we said I would. Wow, she just let rip on wow. wow. Um, don't worry guys, I'm not appropriating anything. I've braided my hair when it was wet last night, so it would be like crimped when I take it out. It's still possibly damp, but it'll be fine for photos until I shove it in a messy bun, which is what I normally do. And hopefully it doesn't look too crazy. You're a wee bit late, Fiona. A wee bit late. <laughs> Fiona, can, can, while you're doing that, can I go pee? Yeah, of course. I don't like that it's straight here and wavy there, but I'll make it work. I might give myself a side party or something. I'm telling you, let's come dress as an extra Pippi Longstocking. Pippi Longstocking, come and meet to your friend. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, this is a look. <laughs> Wait until it all out. Gotta trust that person. I should have done just two braids. I maybe have made myself too poodly, but we will see. I mean, it is 90s, this kind of hair, so it fits the vibe. And I have a lot of it, so still got another braid here. When does my challenge end? I'll extend it for another week. So if anyone wants to join, they're more than welcome. You don't have to be part of the Patreon. Just tag me on Instagram and call it Peaches Grunge Challenge. Peaches with an E-Z. It's just so I can find you if you haven't added me already. And I'll look for that. Hashtag, and I can't wait to see what you guys do. You can recreate this, do your own version of grunge. Grunge is freeing. I mean, even though I'm a pro and I can do precise things, there's just something freeing about mixing colours and playing and learning the rules so you can break them. I'm gonna still got another braid here. It's why it's thin on one side and thick on the other. Should have maybe left it in the braid. I hope this isn't a decision I regret. boys are yelling at me to give them more food. I still have dampish hair, but... Yeah. That was a good idea. Hi, <laughs> Terry! That's the one thing I suck at, and that's hair. What should I do with this, Missa? It's going wild. I'll keep it, keep it mental. I need my mirror so I can see where my parting is. There we go. That's because my money piece is here. Oh, if any of you missed it and you can't see while well, my screen name's not up, there's a big giveaway on my Instagram right now to win every single palette in that picture. Right. Oh, actually, could do. Could do pigtails. Just to give this area a bit more body because it is 
I, I'm not very good at braining it from the scalp itself, so I should just give it a bit more bounty. I just love Yeah, it. there we go. I love her so much. Right, She's well, very gorgeous. She's amazing. She's the kind of person I look at in the street and I'm like, hell yes, you're your own person. Yeah. That's, that's like what I live for. When I was wearing that t-shirt earlier, my Tories, very little help. This like, she was older. She must have been about 60 or 70 and she was walking towards me and she just started pissing herself laughing. When she walked past me, she went, I fucking love your t-shirt. And I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> It was excellent. As always, I've been able to clean up my space. I like, I like what I do clean up as I go. Is this too crazy or is it cute? With the... That'd be ridiculous. How would it ever be too crazy? Have you seen this? Yeah, but you have a lot of hair. I do. It's hard to know what to do with it all. I wish I'd maybe straighten these or I'll pull them a bit so they're not as wild. I'm all tidy. I might take one picture for you. Thank you. Should I go in a natural light while you're in light lights? Oh, yeah, I'm in natural light. Why go in fake light? Yeah, we'll swap places with that. Hold on. You guys can see the tones. Ooh. Making sure my ring light doesn't fall first. There we go. Okay, now I'm in my ring light. I've got to like work around what I've got because everything's a little wild. Never, Helen. Can't do this in winter, can we? Look at our natural light. From Ikea, Anne Marie. This angle is doing my head in, but. I think this look calls for whole hoops. Yes. Oh, this is a little better, I think. I don't know. But there you go, you can see. I think mine look better in natural light, to be honest. Who, me or you? Me. You look good in both. There we go, there's the whole hips. Thank you, Raphaela. And this is what the highlighter does. So, like I said, Thanks. dead on. Dead on, I just look dewy from the side, it's like bam. And that's how you can get that strong highlight look, but looking, I don't want to say natural because it's not, but you get what I mean. Oh, there's absolutely nothing natural about my face. Those hoops are everything, by the way. This, it just makes you look so mean and fierce. I'm like, chef's kiss. I would not talk to me on the street if I passed me. Yeah. I like this area for lighting. I love a hook, Claire. I never wear the mic because I'm too scared, but I love a hook. Hey girl, let you guys get really close to my eyeballs. I'm not going to let you get that close to mine because they look like garbage compared to Danielle's. That'd be silly. And look, texture. It's normal. Thank you, Henry. I mean, I don't think... I don't think it's quite the same, but it was fun. My shapes are different, very different. They're fine. You look awesome. I mean, I've got giant hoops as well. You got to put the hoops. In. Come on. Yeah. We're hole hooping. We're hole hooping. Well, I'll plug you back into my ring light, and I'll hoop. Oh. Come back in. Oh, the house is so warm. The 
that's quite funny, Laurie. Laurie's only got one ear pierced, so she looks like weird in her shit. Just wear one then, do what Esmeralda does and not hunch back and your arm. I feel like an utter bitch. Why do you think I like grunge so much? I feel like I, I look like I'm going to go out and punch someone. Who are you talking to? Who are you being wide with? Hmm? Oof. Glasgow kiss. <laughs> Thanks, Sylvia. I love these hoops. They're ridiculous. I feel like a spice girl, but spicier. <laughs> The spicy spice. It's funny because spice girls are a cool thing, but spice boys not. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but I've just heard it's not a good thing. Oh, do you want to know what else I got you as a present? I have you a set of these, this, and like a necklace, a bracelet, and a ring. All right. So you, you can join the choker club because they go with everything. I used to have chokers. I don't have them anymore for some reason. Got so many, I love mine. I feel naked without them. Plus, my neck is ugly, so it fixes it. I have a really long neck, and it freaks me out. If I look at it too much, like it's real long. I wish I did something better with my fringe, but it's fine. Next week as well, not next week, the week after. On the 27th, these blonde bits are going to be white, so it's going to look so cool when I come down. You all know that when I do Daniela's makeup, like in this video style, she's going to look so different to what she looks like right now. <laughs> I am open. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to, you know me, I'm not going to win once. You know I won't. Bye, Amory. Bye, Amory. Nice there is one thing I forgot to do. Belt choker, Laurie. I still think about that and I don't know where it is. There we go. Got it. Well, I'll take a picture for you as a treat. Thank you. I just need to, have I got my memory card? No, I need to put my memory card in my camera. Are you okay, babies? Also, um, any ladies out there that want cute clothes on a budget, this was like four quid on Shein. I mean, excuse me, because I'm a plus size bitch, but my my French. But like that, I can't so baggy believe. joggers. Did you just so swear on my channel, you bitch? I just look like if you if I'd sit on you, you'd die. I'm quite happy with that. I just look like I'm gonna mug you <laughs> for, a, for a packet of cigarettes. How cute is this top, though? I need to bring it, it down. Nice. I like it. And I wear like cute, pretty bralettes underneath. I've got a hot pink one underneath, so it's just comfy. There's no underwiring. It's cozy. On the night we go to the pub, I'm gonna wear that skirt that I got at the MDB sale. You're gonna look so hot. That outfit that we discussed. Should I bring a skirt? Well, yeah, because we're gonna go to the pub. Unless you don't want to wear a skirt, but oh no, I'll dress up and dress out if you want me to. No, let's have a nice. Let's do bring a dressy outfit. Just because we can, because things are open again, so we might as well. Well, we've given it, I've done a three hour live almost. I feel quite impressed with myself. I only threw, I'd say, one medium tantrum. Right? I think you've done amazing. Like, I did try. I love it. You suit that so much. Did you, did you learn anything new is what I want to know. I just think, let's fucking go for it. Sorry, just go for it. Stop swearing, Daniel, on my channel. It's all my fault. Just go I'm for just it. such a bad influence. I think maybe, yeah. Because some days I don't film because something isn't 10 out of 10. I'm like, just, I don't know. You know? Maybe not. I don't know. Am that making sense? No. Right, Gregory? Thank you. See, Gregory said I'm impressed Melissa's been here for more than an hour. Would you say I'm a good teacher? Absolutely. I mean, I'm not joining your Patreon to get lessons because you're my best pal, so you're going to do it for free. But uh, 
if I wasn't, I would. So if you want to learn stuff, then you should join it. It's on the screen. Do you think it helps that I'm so chilled out when you're stressed about things? We'll see how chilled you are when I'm making you do a look that I want. I'll be chill. We'll see. We'll see. There's not a lot of things that can press my buttons, I'm just saying. Very little. Greg is asking, do you do lives on Patreon? No, but it is something I want to do down the line. People who know me know I haven't been the most well. I mean, for those who have just joined, I'm disabled. I have a few things going on. But we do. I actually had a month off recently. Oh, oh, I'm back. Um, it's just when it comes to having a schedule, it's a little bit difficult until I can get on top of my own things more because I still have stuff going on. But it is in the works. It's not. A, it's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. So I don't. I, I don't want to make promises. However, I am doing makeup calls with people one on one. That's already happening, and it's something I really enjoy. Um, and the idea is, is maybe instead of like live Patreons, just live on my YouTube channel, um, because I think one on ones are more personal. But I'm thinking down the line as well. Um, Zoom calls and group classes, group master classes, not just one on ones. And for those that want to do makeup on other people, I can teach that too. I think that's a, that's a good value for money. So I, I'll even get um, friends in. Um, you know, you, you've, some of you have seen Jenna before. You've yet to meet April. Uh, good friends of mine and Missa in the future as well. I'll do a live where I talk through a look that I do on Missa if you want. Well, we can do that when you're here. Yeah. We might as well take that opportunity. Because um, I've watched a lot of masterclasses myself, celebrity ones and stuff too, from like celebrity makeup master, celebrity master makeup artists and stuff. Um, and I was thinking a Patreon group trip, hopefully next year, because it's on my bucket list to go to IMAX. How cool would it be to go as a group? Are you down for that, Missa? I'd come. So imagine we all went as a group to IMATS and watched the master classes there and got loads of cheap makeup and just had a weekend out of it. That would be a dream come true. Um, and obviously meetups and stuff in the future. But, that... but, when you do, wait, but when you do a live when you're here doing my makeup, is that going to be on your Patreon? Could do either. I would do it on your Patreon. I'll do it on my Patreon then. And you can do it on Teresa as well because we've both got different skin types, different skin tones, different face shapes. And I, and I can talk through it all, explain it all. Also, I'm a qualified photographer, so I can even show you how to make the most out of your phone camera. Because believe it or not, my entire feed on my Instagram is done on my phone alone because I can't afford a camera. No, but the good thing about that is I could film you doing it. So it could be a proper video for you. Yeah, and I can show people how to edit lighting, how to make the most with um, a smaller ring light, like £15 from Amazon, so you can get, like, not studio-style lighting, but as close as you can get to it with a phone and a cheap ring light, how to get versatility out of your products, how to do a full face with free products. Um, I, I love stuff like that. Um, I, once watched a, I once watched a video uh, actually with Tati and Scott Barnes, where Scott Barnes was talking about losing his luggage when he had to work a big makeup video or a shoot, and he had to go into a drugstore, grab a mascara, a highlighter, and lipstick, and he did a full face with that, and that lit a fire in me. And now I'm the type of person where if you're stressed about eyeshadow and bronzer and stuff, I'll say you only need three products for a full face even for a special occasion or a set of products that you can get full face for under 20 pounds. And I'm a high end bitch. So, you know, my recommendations don't come without the knowledge of knowing that they work, that they stay on. And not only that, I've tested stuff under studio lighting. So, you know, this is all exciting for me. There's a lot I could show you. Oh, I love low lighting. Um, it's just getting a smaller ring light and having a play with that. Oh, Kerry, I can't wait to give you, like, a beat. Like, we're going to have so much fun. 
I'm not scared to go extra and take it there and see what happens. But if there's anything you guys want lessons on or ideas you want to give me, I'm open to anything. The only thing that I ask is please be patient with me while I try and figure out my health. I know I shouldn't have to apologize or owe anyone anything, but I like the understanding that comes with understanding that I deal with a lot. And sometimes there are some weeks I just don't function. And um, it happens, but I, I'm i working on it and I, I care about it. And, you know, I, I, you know, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. It brings me joy every day. He like blends into the future. All I see is a pair of eyes. He was coughing weird, so I was getting a bit stressed. But he seems okay. Okay. Maybe Could he be too warm? He might have a hairball or something. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I hope he's all right. He does it quite often. But it always stresses me out when he does it. Would you get him checked out just to see if it's anything? Yeah. Get a look over? Because I know some cats are like that. A wee MOT for saucy. Hmm. Potato. Sure, I'm sure they'll be fine. It's potato. You got your own cat wrong. <laughs> no. Well, it has been three hours now. I'm impressed, but I need to get off live because you know I can't do it for that long. Oh, I'm melting. So I want to get pictures and then shove my hair up in a bun. I want to get a picture and then take all my makeup off. And then eat crisps in bed. Is this something you'd wear out? Um, honestly, I wouldn't wear the lips. You're not a big fan of the lips? I said, no, I don't think they suit me that much. Maybe... Put a peachier lip on next time that's still pale. Yeah. Maybe you just go peachier. I think it's just the darker lip liner I'm not sure about. I think it's just because it's not what you're used to, but I think it's really defining. It adds to the grunge. It's part of the vibe. But um, you can next time just go pale and pale if you want, or just something yeah. a little lighter. It works either way. Just this looks really mean, and that's what I went yeah. for. Yeah, I think I'd just go like pure pale lip. Yeah. And then I'd be better. But yeah, I mean, I'd go out with it without that one. But you like the eyes, you like the eye work. I'll still take pictures, don't worry. Even though our eyes look very different. Don't they? Don't they? I love it. I love how you did yours. Your shape suits you though. You've done a really good job of it. I'm just used to grunge, it's all it is. Like grunge is different to precision. Oh no, look. I've cut that Ooh. one off it by scratching it. Have you got pseudocrem or something? No. You need to get some. Oh, so sore, those horse flies. Oh, it was bad. Anyway, I enjoyed this a lot. Thank you so much for teaching me. Um, Thank you for having me on and thank you for letting me do it. I'll wire you that hundred grand that you asked for <laughs> after this. After the life. Per hour. <laughs> <laughs> She's expensive. Ow. Ah. Sorry. Look, and this one's still going to burst. You're saving this video, aren't you? So if people want to watch and recreate it, they can. Yeah, 100%. For those who don't know what I used, used both carnivals, used Mercury Retrograde and Nebula palette. I am going to take pictures and list everything. So I'll take one or two. If you can take a couple of centimeter posts, I'd love that. Alright, I will. Maybe. Maybe. It would make my day. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. I appreciate you all staying so long. Um we are gonna go, but Daniela's Patreon's on screen. Her Instagram is Cosmic Peaches with three Zs, and uh, that's it. We're gonna piss off. Have a lovely day, and we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye. Love you all.